Hello everyone and welcome to Arena Open uh, Day 2. I didn't record today the Day 1 event, it was sealed tech. Uh, I got to Day 2 and uh, this is now Brothers War Best of 3 draft, so might as well record it for my channel. Uh, the Day 2 is in two parts, uh, there are two drafts. So uh, the first one is uh, you play four matches, win or lose. This has changed, it was different earlier. Uh, four matches win or lose and if you get to three or four wins uh, you get to the second draft and then uh, if you win I think at least two matches in the second draft then you will get some money prizes. Uh, up to the minimum price is 500 US dollars and the maximum price is 2000 US dollars. Um, if you get to four wins, so you go four row here, you get a double elimination, so you get a free loss, well, sort of a free, you, you can you can lose once in the day, day two, uh, sorry, the second draft, if you go four row. If you go um, three one, uh, then it will be single elimination, so you, you lose and you drop from the second draft. So it is, of course, the prime target is to reach three wins, but of course the fourth one is quite valuable as well. And the other results give you some gem prizes. Uh, by the way, the minimum uh, reward from the draft two is 5,000 gems, so the jump to two, from two to three wins is still going to be like plus 2,500 gems, if nothing else. So let's go to the draft now. All right, Mesmeric Orb. I don't really like it. it's a symmetrical effect. Um, uh, it, I don't, it's really hard to guarantee any kind of a, I don't know, so that the effect would be better for you. So you might mill yourself before your opponent because this, because of this effect. Uh, so I'm not going to first pick it. Uh, Master Wizard is horrible. I mean, it's pretty good. Um, mm, mm, mm. Yep. Uh, out of the commons, there's nothing exciting. I mean, I'm really thinking about taking the third path. Iconoclast here. It is two colors. Uh, Non-creature spell. Reveal the top five. Yeah, it, it it doesn't hit always. But yeah, it could be... Mm, I mean, it is only one color. There are some non-creature spells, but they are not like... I mean, non-creature non artifacts, instant, instant and sorceries. You won't have that many of them in your deck. You you don't usually hit them. I don't know. It's a, it's a build around, I think. I'm going to take the Iconoclast. It's the easier build around. Just have any non-creatures and you get some value immediately. You don't have to hit your top five uh, to, to have the same kind of a card there. All right. So here, uh, there's also a Junkyard Genius here. Someone took the rare here. Uh, there's nothing... Well, no, no, they are, they are good cards for the blue and red deck. I would take the Mind Over Matter, sorry, Machine Over Matter and Involuntary Cooldown. They are fine cards to include in decks that have the Iconoclast. But this is the best card in the pack, and of course I have no guarantee if that uh, uh, blue red is specifically going to be open. I might you know, also be able to draft the black red deck. So I think it is early in the draft. I'm going to take the best card here. Let's do it. And then I, I won't really, I won't be playing these in the same deck. Um, I mean, I mean, I guess it's possible, but it's very unlikely. But if I can can be one of these archetypes, I'm happy to have you know a powerful card for it already. All right, so uh, picking uh, red cards would be, I mean, if they were a good red card, would be ideal because it works with both of these uh, two color cards. But now that doesn't apply here because the infantry is. Yeah, playable, but um, the overwhelming overwhelming remorse is better. Uh, the cohort is really good card as well. Mm, but yeah, I think I'm taking the remorse here because I took the black card there. So that's now good. Two good cards for a black and red. And then I'm seeing here a razor lash transmogrant. Now the inability to block is of course severe drawback, but um. This thing keeps coming back. Not not for for only two mana in, in limited, but um, at six mana it will be a four two returning from the graveyard. There's also a take flight here, which is all you know a good card for a third path iconoclast. But um, since I have two good uh, black cards here, I think I should take the. Well, this is not black, of course, but you wouldn't play this kind of a card unless you have a, access to the activated ability. From your mana base so i think i'll take this but you could still you know prefer a blue red and take the take flight here instead it's totally a reasonable choice but because i have the remorse here i think i'm going to just take the transmogrant okay so well i don't see 
much blue here, so I, I'm not sad about taking the removal. So with a take flight, yeah, there's no blue. I, I, the, someone has to be drafting blue to my uh, right. Okay, so the very good cards in the backpack are the golem. I like the golem much but more than this thing. The six mana three six is such an unexciting <clears throat> version of the card. It should be at least 4-6 or something, but the, there is of course stuff for my colors too. The Goring Warblow, there's the Forge Chanter. Uh, I do like the Warblow, it's such a nice, uh, you know, split 2-drop, 6-drop. Um, when you need a 2-drop, you can just play this, and of course, 6 mana 5 for death, that's just is an old joke. Uh, yeah, this is a better card, but I might just be black red here, so who knows. Well, I, I actually have only one red card, the Junkyard Genius. Uh, so I might still be black something else. That's also possible. I have basically three black cards and they're all, you know, pretty decent here overall. Uh, so I don't have to marry myself to being red, but we'll see. Okay, so um, I see some green, but they are not that amazing cards. I mean, the three ones are really a liability in this format. There's so many one toughness tokens, for, uh, sorry, one power tokens and, and stuff like that. So. I don't like the three ones in this format too much. I'm gonna take Emergency Weld because this is a this, this is just a very solid card. Also, nice little synergy piece with this thing. You you want to have some sacrifice fodder for this, and of course the one more token here is pretty free. So let's take it and be happy about this pick. All right, there's a mythic rare which I'm gonna be taking. Taking I'm not gonna red draft uh, in a arena open draft. I even have two of these already from a, a previous red drafting. So there's a clay revenant and the kicks and skull flare, which isn't actually the such a nice, I'm um, such an amazing card in this archetype. I think in green black where you have can maybe play more of the self mill. Good work. Uh, the clay revenant isn't great or anything. I don't like this chain dancer too much either. So I think I'm gonna take this. I might need sacrifice for the, and it's a fine card to run. Uh, I, I don't really need a 3 mana 2 3. I want to have the red common, you know, that sacrifices artifacts to get plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn and uh, ping the opponent. That's the 3 drop I really need to have in this deck. But it's pretty obvious that red is now being drafted too. I guess the most open colors here are green and black. That is that is true. So I have to figure out if I'm going to maybe play that color combination just to abandon the genius, even though it is really good card. Um, I could take something like an Odyssey. I think I would take that over the Blanchwood Armor for sure, or the Rust Goliath. Um, Gigamole isn't isn't bad, so you could take that. And I think I don't care about the Odyssey that much. I'm gonna take the Gigamole, but I will now take into account the possibility that I might be green and black. Although this pack still has a couple of red cards now, I'm not sure I like the Verrick Blast too much with uh, black red. I won't be having that many high power creatures, it's better in red green. Dredging Claw is pretty bad. Scrapsmith oh, is good if you have a healthy amount of artifacts, which I don't currently have. Um, you know what? I'm actually not in, in, interested in any of that. I'll just take the Mythic Rare now that I got it back this late. I don't think the three drop there was that crude. Scrap work rager is fine. A little bit costly, but um, you get value out of it and you can sack it if if I mean I don't know if I'm gonna be I, I guess pack two will show if my if red can be my second color. I haven't really passed anything great red, so I might get past a lot of good red. And in that case I can be, you know, red black with probably more black than red cards in the deck. Now this pack has basically two options. The wings is fine, Mrs. Onslaught is fine as well. Mm, don't know if I care about either of them that much. I'll take the onslaught for now. It, it gives me something to sack, but yeah, my, it's possible I won't be the sacrifice deck. All right, so here I'm um, probably just gonna take a random four drop. I don't like the domination that much. This is maybe better in a white red when you actually can consider, uh, you know, enchanting your creatures for that or you don't care about it. I mean, you, it can it, disable, oh, let's put it here. You can of course play this on an opponent's creature to make it unable to block, but it will be not that great. Okay, yeah, I'll take the Forge Chanter over the Skull Flare. I don't think the Skull Flare is that great. Okay, let's take the Domination then. I mean, if I'm just getting past all those. I mean, Domination on a Chain Dancer isn't that bad. Okay, well, there is now 
First of all, no good red in here. I don't see even in the artifacts any red activations. So the whirling strike is the only red card in the pack. If this was excavation explosion, it would be great. Um, because that's also the one one of the red commands you really want to have when you're playing red. Um, Gwena, Eyes of Gaia. This is good for sure. Problem is, I kind of want to play the junkyard genius. So is this pack something? Uh, this this has good enough cards. Uh, um, I mean, I can take a black card and still, you know, be open to to black green. And um, yeah, because, and passing this when you are going to end up, if you are gonna end up green is sad. But I think I'll take the battlefield butcher. That is interesting to try here. It won't be that easy to use. I don't have the self mill theme here yet, but. I have a Giga Mola. Creatures will end, end in my graveyard anyway, so... And you can, at some point in the game, if you have Power Stones, especially then, you can just, you know, pay a couple of mana for this effect too. L losing, making them lose two life is, is certainly, uh, you know, <laughs> good. Alright. Now, there's a Mistrust Research desk. I really like that. There's also Juggernaut. I, I wouldn't mind having it. There's another scrap or, a scrap work Rager. There's also a Goblin Blast Runner. Now, don't really see a lot of ways to sacrifice stuff yet. I should put a Iconoclast away. I'm, I'm not going to be red and blue. Um, I, I just like this Research desk. A lot. Plus, this is also you know a sacrifice effect. So if I get to pick this later on, that will help trigger this thing. Okay, let's take it. So I think I will be black and red now, and I don't expect to get a lot of red from pack three, but um, so be it. All right, that's a fine <clears throat> pack. Um, there's a unleash shell. I mean, it's a little bit disappointing. It's only pick three. There could be some actual very good cards here. Now, these are not like very good. The levitating statue can be quite nice. I have only four non creatures though. Yeah, I think I'll just take the removal here, the unleash shell. You can always play like one of these because it is quite expensive, but it is also very, you know, it's an instant. It deals damage to them. It's it's a it's a fine. I mean, as far as these five mana removal spells are concerned, the red burn spells, which most say sets have. This is one of the better ones. So let's just take it and hope that I get something good from... I mean, I, I would, I'd need to have some very very high power creatures, please, because I'm a bit lacking here. Okay, the Warplow is my pick here. I, I wouldn't mind a Thraxo Demon. It is quite expensive to use unless you have a lot of Power Stone tokens, which I don't have. I take the Warplow, it's just never gonna go badly. I think this deck might, might also play the Thopter, but I like the 2-drop, 6-drop hybrid. Alright, there's a gruesome realization. Realization, that's really decent. Soul Guide Lantern, never never bad. But I mean sometimes the minus one, minus one just you know wipes two or three of their creatures and that's amazing. And uh, this it's still a divination, it's a hard mana cost of course, and you, you lose two life, but it is worth having this. This is a really Really decent model spell. Mm, other options would be another Giga Mole. Yeah, I would play two of them maybe, but I'm taking the realization. Okay, I got at least something. I mean, I, I wanted to have have some something that benefits from my, you know, sacrifice for the such as the Clay Revenant and the Emergency Welch token and what else I might have. Um, the Fracture is easy pick here, of course. There's not even you know. Not really much, um, many options for me. All right, so here, okay, well, there are four cards I could play in this deck. The Demolisher is seven mana. Uh, I don't have a lot of power stone generating. That is the problem with that card now. I think I'm actually just taking the Thraxa Demon here. That is that is a fine pick. I don't need another Clay Revenant. I might play one, but two is maybe not that great. Okay, so this creates me sacrifice for the red. I have some, you know, six mana artifacts that the power stone, you know, ramps to. Turn five war blow thanks to retrieval unit. But there's also a Gixian infiltrator. I just don't really know. 
don't even have an evolving wilds, but I guess this is the, the, the moment of defiance is not bad either, but I think I'll take the two drop that grows. I should hopefully find some creatures that still, you know, oh, cards that allow me to sacrifice things. I took the Tra Traxo Demon as well. Alright, Gixis Care is easy pick here. It's actually, you know, decent uh, variant of this effect. These are really playable, but the Power Stone really makes it worth it. Alright, kill zone acro acrobat. That is that is totally fine. I do hope to get some of the red one drops now. Uh, there's another aeronaut swings, which I didn't pick from the pre prior pack, but yeah, the acrobat is actually starts to be decent in this deck now. Uh, now I could take the sibling rivalry because of the acrobat, really good combination. And some other ways to maybe sack, you know, I have, yeah, let's take the rivalry. Now the moment of defiance is totally fine, I would play it, but this, I might even find some more ways to sacrifice from pack 3, and then this can be quite, quite nice. It works even with the Traxor Demon, but that requires 7 mana, of course. But yeah, Traxor Demon is the pick from this pack. I am at 23 playables, which is, I mean, I guess it means, and I, I have even some, you know, other, you know, playables in here, at least the Chain Dancer is a playable. And there's an entire pack still left in the draft. Now, should I take the Skull Flare or just the Gigamole again? I'll take the Gigamole. Okay, I will be cutting a bunch of cards. Which is, you know, a good place to be. You know, I have more sideboard options. But I really need some a little bit more power for this deck. I don't feel that this deck is that powerful yet. Maybe a, a, big, a bit of more emphasis on the Sacrifice team. Get some synergy pieces, like the one mana uh, red creature. That's what I want to have. Okay, so here we got nice cards for sure. Again, only one <laughs> red card is the same as as my pack two opener dwelling strike. Um, the, the black blade reforged. I don't think I have anything that's legendary. Nope. So it's gonna be very expensive to. Um, use unless you have a lot of um, power stones again the equip 7 is not that bad bad when you have like three power stones because of course the ability the effect is really good but there's a trans spider i don't have a lot of artifacts but it's still going to be quite okay it gives the power stone to opponent as well yeah i, I mean i could maybe see picking this at pick nine if it comes back but let's take the spider now there's another spider which is really good but i didn't end up in the black green archetype all right, so sort of the make. So I can actually uh, sack this for a couple of my things, and then if I have one one enter the battlefield, which I have like, <laughs> uh, well, the emergency weld at least. Okay, let's see. Uh, anything else in this pack? There is a scrap work cohort as a retrieval unit. Um, plus t plus one plus two. It's not not that bad. I mean, I'm actually gonna try this. Uh, can I find some one ones? I really would want to have some additional. Oh, actually, I have also the Mistress Onslaught, which I might play. So yeah, let's try to you know sack this and have it come back for value. So hopefully that kind of stuff happens. All right. So anything? No, I don't have the red commons being passed to me. The one drop that gets plus uh, two plus one. I mean, it becomes a 3-2 menace if you have sacrificed something. And of course, a 3-drop that sacrifices uh, to, for the temporal boost. The 3 mana, 3 mana 2 3 come on, I don't recall its name. Anyway, I have to make do with what I have here. Now, another infiltrator, a corrupt, but I don't have an elsewhere flask. Probably not gonna take the corrupt. I don't know if I want to play two on slots. I won't be. Don't, I don't think the Trent Stalker is going to be that good. I'm going to take the Onslaught because I took the Sword of the Meek, but I'm not sure if I'm going to play two of them. We'll see. Okay. Mm, so there's an Emergency Weld and a Battlefield Butcher. That's actually interesting. Because the Weld... The Weld is... Hmm. So let's see. How easily can I... Uh, I, I might self-mill it if I have some of these Gigamals in my... Uh, Deck, but I'm, I can just sacrifice artifacts with a few things. Yeah, I really like the synergy between those two, but is it worth it? I mean, I could just take the butcher here and be actually rather happy about it. 
Uh, the weld is good though, but I'm gonna take the butter. I, I like it more than the automaton, and I think they have enough two drops too. And I have so many cuts to make. The butcher is really you know, unblockable source of damage. All right, power stone fracture is. Now, if I had two of these, uh, oh, there's also a blast runner in here, and this is also. Uh, I mean, I would really want to have the blast runner, but I think I'll take the fracture here. I have a clay revenant, and yeah. But I was saying that I think I would take the emergency weld over the three drop from the previous pack if I already had two power stone fractures. Because of course the one one you get from the weld is, you know, it's one one way to feed this thing. But yeah, let's take the fracture now and see how it goes. Okay, well, I think the transmog halter is actually the pick here. I would really like to have the warp lock, but this can be quite nice. It's another card for the steel and sack thing. It it can you know turn my one twos into three threes and keep coming. I have a, a small creatures I might want to upgrade into three threes. Yeah, I really like the warp but I'm, man, I'm taking the altar now for this deck. And anything else? I I have more than enough playables, so I don't even worry about. Uh, this is like a pretty hard to build around. I don't worry about you know getting any more cards. I don't think I will get anything that's powerful anymore. But now it's the decision between the infiltrator and the demolisher as a sideboard card. This is only as a sideboard card. But I guess I have enough sacrifice team going on that the infiltrator will be the pick here instead. Oh, there is a good card. Not not for me though. The Arbalest engineers pick eight. So no one is red green. I guess. All right. So bubble. Uh, not interested in that actually. Uh, I might um, just take the retrieval unit thing here. I think it's okay. Okay, Thraxo Demon again. Disciples of Geeks. Now, getting stuff to my graveyard is not that powerful in the end. It is a little bit with the Butcher, this become cheaper. But I think I'll just take the two drop. If I really need to have some, I mean, I'm against something that's very aggressive. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like that. All right. So another retrieval unit, which probably won't be needed. Skull flare, which I don't, I don't need. Like, I have three drops already. I don't need it for curve reasons either. Um, I don't think I'm gonna play multiples of these. It just give me a sacrifice for the return. So let's, let's try it. I mean, it's, it's. I mean, there was a rare for 20 gems, but like I said, I didn't open, I shouldn't really do, do too much um, red drafting in this kind of an event. So yeah, Geeks and Infiltrator, uh, Stalker. I like the Tudor, but I'm not gonna play all these, right? Drake is actually Graveyard Hate, which you could take, but oh well, that went. Oh, I got the weld back. This was the weld. And I took the 1-3, one, oh, one, one four over it. Where is it? Well, anyway, I'm taking the world now. There's still an iron out swings. Wow. Arms race. Artifact from your hand. Yep, no. Let's take the, you know, this clothing. <laughs> and whatever. Don't need two of those overs. Okay. Okay, so that is, in fact, um, what? 13 cuts that I'm gonna make. I'm gonna start with the Gigamoles. I don't have the graveyard team uh, present that much. The four. Falaji Chain Dancer can go away too. Um, I prefer the in this deck the Stone Retrieval units now that I have. Um, well, for a, for a couple of reasons. First of all, it does create me power stones, which I might need to or might want to sacrifice for some of my effects, and it's also is useful in ramping up to these war blows if I didn't if I didn't play them on turn two. It helps with the activating the Trans Spider, and also it's an artifact I can find with it. So currently, it's eleven artifacts. So it will be somewhat easy to find uh, stuff with this thing. Now about the two drops. Yeah, I mean this deck is just um. <laughs> I want to play all these cards, cards, and I still need to cut ten. So I really need to just um. I don't know. The fourth chant there is easy cards here. By the way, this is you know, the number of red cards in the deck is five. Plus, of course, this has unearth for red. So it's like mostly a mono black deck, but it's fine. I mean, I'm gonna play the red here for sure because I could cut all the red. <laughs> Funnily, 
but I think the sibling rivalry is going to be quite useful. The genius is of course great and might as well play the unleash shell if I'm gonna play red. But I just have to start from by cutting some of the two drops. Now I actually have these like on team two, de two drops, but I think still an infiltrator can go. Maybe an even split like one Thraxa demon. I have now one, two, three, four, five. No, that's still seven plays for turn two. Um, I'm not gonna cut the whelps. I uh, really, I mean, I don't want to lose the Gixis Keras, but that's actually maybe not so needed. Given that my three drops. Oh man, this is really tough because I just have to, I just have to get rid of some of this stuff. There's no way. I really like the Mistress Onslaught, but mo mostly because of them. Sort of the meek. Now, any other one once that will enter are going to be the emergency wells. Oh no, this is actually a 1 1 2 when you prototype it. So that's still um, some ways to get get it back from the graveyard. I don't really, I shouldn't really focus too much on getting this back from the graveyard. So the onslaughts feel like they are maybe, I mean, they do give you sacrifice food for the genius, and they are, you know, good with the genius anyway. They, you know, 2 1 ones. Then it can become. Two to one menace, guys. If you sack something else, but I think it is. I, I can cut at least one of them. And then there's the clay revenant, which is mostly great with the altar because you can just make infinite three trees given you know well, one three three, three per turn, but still. Um, I mean, this is so many cards. Sort of the MIG is actually a card you could cut. Maybe I can leave with only one stone retrieval unit here. I mean, this is still... Well, maybe I could play 16 lands because the research desk is you know, kind of a land. It will be... Uh, you can activate this with any color of mana before unearthing. And you will see top two cards if one of them is a land. Yeah, it is. Kinda. And I have a fairly low curve here. I could see, you know... Yeah, because yeah, I have only like four four mana cards, and then there's the only shell is my only five mana card because this can get cheaper. So maybe I'll play sixteen lands, but I still don't know what are the four cards in here. I really think the butcher is a card I want to play, but I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna cut one of them from the main deck, and maybe the Gixis Keres just has to go as well. Um, I don't want to cut too many creatures, but that's twelve non creatures, although the Onslaught is gonna with these creatures. Um, yeah, but this starts to get tough. I don't want to cut the war blows. There is still um, 10 artifacts, so I have a good. Not that I may be cutting this. 3 mana 2 4 reach is quite nice. The opponent gets to use their power stone first, but it's still, um, still a word. card worth running. Hmm. I mean, I like like to play all these cards now. I mean, you could, you know, maybe not play the altar and the sibling rivalry, but it is such a powerful combination. So let's see uh, ways to sacrifice stuff when I cast this thing. Uh, well, there are some that use mana a lot, but the free uh, well, cheaper ways to do it is. The kill zone acrobat, which is requires no mana whatsoever, I can actually curve into acrobat into turn for rivalry and just sack it by attacking with this guy. Transmograt altar, if I have one extra mana, so at five I can sack it for mana, at six I can sack it because this costs of course four. At six I can sack it for a creature. And then of course there are these which require only two additional mana. Yeah, I think it, it's too much synergy with the rivalry. I'm going to play the rivalry and I'm gonna play the altar. Uh, I could see maybe the clay revenant, even with if it is very decent with the altar, it's I mean it's also good with the Traxor Demon in a in a kind of a standoff. You can just keep I mean it's of course requires a lot of mana, but that is one way to get value. How about the Sword of the Meek? Hmm. I have one, two, three ways now to get one once. And, uh, and actually five, yeah, because also these can be played as one once. 
Alright, I kind of want to play the Sword of the Meek, but I need to cut two cards. I'm not gonna run 14 lands or 15 lands. 16 is the minimum I'm willing to go for. Yeah, the onslaught is... Ah. <laughs> I mean, it probably has to be this thing, right? If I cut this, am I gonna play the Sword of the Meek anymore? I mean, it's it, an equipment that gives... It's a two cost, two equip, plus two, uh, plus one, plus one, plus two. It's, it's a fairly decent buff. Uh, this becomes a 3-5. This becomes a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, I could I could see maybe cutting the other butcher too, but I, I really want to try it. Okay, I'm gonna cut the Mistress Onslaught. And now the final cut. Yeah, this is taking a lot of time, but this is... This is tough. This is very tough. Um, I do want to have the Infiltrators. So I'm gonna have the tag, Tracks of Demons. Oh man, am I gonna have to do this? Because this is the card that is least synergistic with anything in my deck. I have a 14 creature card, so this usually will cost a bunch of mana. I guess I'm gonna just sideboard this in, in matchups where the 3 mana 1 4 part is. You know, I know that it's gonna matter. Because, of course, um, it's not really. It's a good blocker, but if your opponent doesn't have a like flyers, I probably don't have time to use this ability. So let's let's cut the butcher and this is now most of my cards are just you know good you know like removal spells or they somehow synergize with the sack theme, sacrificing theme of the deck. So let's let's try this build, but it was a tough one because I mean of course black was super open, red wasn't. I ended up having about three red cards in the deck plus the research desk. It's mostly black, uh, but yeah, you could really built this in so many ways, like more value from the Giga Molds, I could do that kind of stuff. But for now, this is the deck I have, because this is a best of three event, so sideboarding will be relevant. How do I split my mana? I think up 10-6 is good. I still want to play the Junkyard Genius on turn 3 if I have it. And this uh, double caster, I, I wouldn't want to go below 6 when I have a double caster in my deck, so 10-6 will be there. Let's use this now. Bro, Brothers War lands because this is a an arena open, so let's use the relevant set here for this very serious tournament. I mean, two thousand dollars wouldn't be bad. It's a very nice way to try to get some money. Of course, getting there is the hard part, but um, regardless, mm, let's take this one. Ten six. All right, so this is the main deck. Let's see how it goes. Okay, that is no two drop while I have a lot of them, but still a very nice curve out here. Because the junkyard genius is quite nice. Although should I play the 3-2 first? We'll see if I have something to accelerate it. Oh I don't like to see that. At least I do have a way to kill it in my hand. This gonna grow, they're gonna get some life. Okay, the altar is good. You can just upgrade all of your creatures smaller than three trees into a three trees. That's also, you know, of course not where the card, but um, it's one one mode also available to this card. All right, so there you go, one drop, two drop. So I am willing to block this guy. So maybe the genius, genius is gonna be the play now. Would I rather have the three two or? Uh, this thing. I, I don't think I'm gonna sacrifice anything anytime soon, so I'm, I'll get my power stone and trade with the, some kind of a card. Of course, they might have ways to save the creatures, but they're gonna use a card to get rid of the genius. So, they can't actually attack with the wormlet unless it picks a counter, which it will, because they get a. Uh, look at this curve. One, two, group two. One, two, three, all excellent cards. But this is arena open for you. There's no easy. There's no easy stuff. All of these guys got to by doing very well in day, day one. Okay, that's a nice one for the next turn. In the meanwhile, I'm going to just uh, play the Acrobat and not use the Fracture because I don't want to sacrifice it on the... on. on I mean, I want to sacrifice it when I have cast this guy. 
Okay, and I'm willing to again do any blocks, maybe even the opportunist, yeah. I have a fairly decent late game for this deck, so I think I can trade off. It's not like I can raise this start from the opponent with what I'm having here right now. So I'm gonna block the opportunist. If they attack with the Wormlet, of course I'm gonna block that in that case, but if they still wanna grow it to a bigger size, uh, they might not attack with it. Okay, they are in the tank now. They have five cards in their hand, of course. Well, I assume they have a land drop. That means four spells. I have these spells, which are decent. I mean, they could have more lands, of course, but... Um, okay, opportunist. Yeah, these are all... I mean, they, they have... These are high picks, all the cards they have. This is just a good stuff for them. But I'm gonna get my Warblow. Oh, this will have death touch when they control. Yeah. They actually... Yeah, they're gonna use this on the next turn. Wow. This is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. So they, they have a death touch on this thing. At least I can block the opportunist, but their curve out was just insane. I mean, they have used all the mana on all of their turns. They started from turn one uh, with a creature that is now a 3-3 death toucher. That's nice for one mana. And they have all the value from the, you know, the, these guys in the form of the power stone token. Now... Uh, I'm gonna be in trouble if they continue playing on um, because this is gonna be now a 7-7, right? I actually uh, Yeah, and then it's gonna be also some bigger token later in the game So I, I have to actually, you know, trade with the Wormlet and use my power stone fracture on the On the um 7-7 I need my sibling rivalry here actually. That's really important now. So play this thing don't really need to alter for anything right now. I would like to, you know, draw a card from, but I can't. I just have to do like this. Wait a minute. I actually can do it smarter like this. <laughs> Let's use the mana before I use the before I sacrifice it. All right. So now I can trade with the opportunist, but they have three cards in their hand and the Mask of the Jade Crafter. Now I just played a card that doesn't do anything, so if I don't find the synergy for it, uh, that will be bad. I did leave the 1-2 in my deck, didn't I? I hope I did. Okay, more artifact triggers. And another mask. Alright. I am not beating these masks. That's just not going to happen. I guess I'm gonna upgrade this guy because it's not really... I mean, I wanna at least block this thing, but um, I'm not beating a double mask. They already have seven mana thanks to all the power stones. And uh, I mean, each of these represent two big creatures and there's no way I'm gonna raise them. So they have all the time in the world to, to use those masks. This is an insanely good card. I don't know if there's any card draw I can win with here. I mean, I, I can trade with this thing and they still have two big creatures coming up and three other cards in their hand while I have nothing in my hand. Well, like I said, this arena open, you don't get easy, easy matches in here. At least I can of lose one match and still, you know, be uh, able to get to day two. How many creatures I have in my graveyard? I have you know, a lot, so I, I might think oh, they have a Gwena. I mean, they have played zero bad cards, even the Perimeter Patrol is quite good in this deck. And this is an excellent card. Uh, yeah, I mean, game is over. I'm not gonna beat all the stuff they have. I wish I had my... Maybe I should have taken the the Drake that exiles from a graveyard. Getting rid of these masks is at least somewhat valuable. But yeah, I mean, there was no beating that opponent in that game. That was just insane. Uh, how do I win win this match? Do I need to, you know, even I'm mean, not. They have all these cheap creatures too. I can't really raise them that easily. I mean, it seems like they were stuck at five lands and then all spells, and I drew, you know, eight lands. So maybe my way. 
to do well is that <laughs> they, they, they need to get a bit unlucky. So this activation would have been free. This is good against the three twos they have. This won't be killing a lot of their guys, but it will kill the three ones and one ones. So do I want to play a divination that costs me life? I think I'm going to cut the gruesome realization, play the butcher here. And then what else? Yeah, I'm really afraid of the masks of the Jade Crafters. That's just so many big creatures. Mm -mm -mm. I kind of want to maybe play another one of those, but that's my card, like a emergency. No, no, infiltrator maybe. I guess the infiltrator is the weakest card there. So let's play a couple of butchers and see how it goes. This is at least some way to. I mean, if I can stabilize somehow, I can use these to. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I'll try it like this. Let's put the butchers to good use. At least creatures, creatures traded a lot in there, so I should have a cheaper activation for it. It would have been zero mana activation in the previous game. Not that it would have mattered, they were at 20 plus life. Okay, so this is how it goes. I'm gonna mulligan this, there's no way keeping a one lander here. Do they mulligan? They kept seven, okay. So, I think I might need to... I mean, it's the worst card in here. But I might need it for to get some something done in this. I mean, it, if I can steal and sack to value, that's that's gonna be good. I might need to do stuff like that in this game. But I really like the world here because I can trade the fun one death touch and then then do the world thing as well. Uh yeah, because I don't really know if I want to cut the Unleash shell either. I wish I just wouldn't have to <laughs> put a card away. I mean, this is this is really a fine fine uh, seven card hand, but I just feel like I need need the power powerful play gameplay with steel and sack to have a chance against this opponent. That's why I'm, I mean this would normally be the easiest card to put away, but and I I think I still have to do it. I mean it's. Probably that or the Unleash Shell. I don't want to lose my Weld Warblow combination here. I'm gonna regret not having access to this card. This is really tough. I mean, I could just get rid of the one for one removal. I don't even have the second mountain. Okay, let's do that. And I hope to get better value from the rivalry. I have many ways to sack. That's one of them. Okay, I'm gonna definitely play this as a Death Toucher at 2. I mean, it's always a Death Toucher, but you know, play it as a 2 drop here. Yeah, the world with them, uh, Altar is also very good because I can, uh, you know, turn the 1 1 into a 3 3. So, this can't be blocked by this guy, so I did have to attack here. I got the Remorse, which, may, which is good because now I don't have to. I mean, it's kind of the same thing as the Unleash Shell. Now I just, no, they just, I mean, the, the curve outs are really great as well. Okay, well, this is not the greatest, but I guess I can. Um, so the second ap activation is a sorcery. The first one, I can just get mana from it, which is not useful right now. And I can just, you know, make this into a 3-3 as well. But let's see if I have time to... <laughs> Time to be, I mean, they are curve out this, of course. I mean, these are commons. They have the correct, the best co commons for their colors. So, I mean, the opponent drafted an amazing deck. Just don't want to see multiple masks of the Jade Crafters. That is horrible. Okay, then. This is now a four mana card. I can attack and turn this into a... Okay, so I, do I have to use my... Okay, well let's even see if I have the remorse mana up. Well, I do have the remorse mana now. So, I have a couple of things I can do. At 6 mana I can 
go with the rivalry and get the token. At 5 mana I can steal something and then sack it for mana. Um, because I can now return this thing and turn the... Or either play it or, or turn the token into a 3-3. The 3-3 token doesn't do much. I can turn this into a 3-3. Sadly I can't block this guy with my artifact creatures. Um, or I can just exile the Goliath. But I feel like I need to actually exile this thing. So let's not attack because of course they would likely block. I'm, I'm going to just uh, take this war blow here and just um, play it probably right. Or I can sack this into... No, I need to... Um, I need to... Um, Death Thatcher to block the Goliath. I don't want to take too much damage here. Yeah, the altar is doing a lot of work, but the opponent is just pressuring me so much. And this starts to pick up counters, so that's the reason I had to leave the remorse. I might have to kill this very soon, because it's an unblockable threat. Okay, there we go. Mask of the Jade Crafter. So, that's <laughs> game over very soon. Okay, so this is a sorcery speed activation. So they didn't want to make a 4-4. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to play the scrap work rager, right? Because I didn't want to hit my land drops. The other option is to Yeah, no, I'm gonna just I mean I get I guess I can leave this to no no it can't jump anything, so it's it's just not happening. Okay. So I don't have mana to to do the stuff with the altar. It would be really great to to you know, start actually making these, turning these into three threes. It's also you know a com combination <laughs> play with the transmogrant because I can continuously you know sack this for value and get it back. But that re requires a lot of mana. I think the opponent's deck is just very well suited against mine. But let's not give up hope. Yeah, the multiple of sprites. I just can't do anything <laughs> to those guys. Are they gonna make the 4-4 right now? They have mana up for a t some kind of a thing, so that's maybe why they didn't want to, you know, tap out on the previous turn. But now, now, now. So if I get rid of this, they are kind of, I can, you know, try to, <laughs> try to um, raise. I'm just not very happy about the situation that... Huh. Yeah, I could pre-combat sack the Transmocrat for 2 mana, and then this would be, you know, a 3 mana spell. But then I can't, of course, attack with the 3 power creature, I could only attack with the Rager in that case. I can play this as a Death Thatcher to block, you know, something... Uh... I really want to get to... I can steal and sack for mana, but that doesn't actually... Give, that leaves me with only three colorless mana, so... That does, I can't do anything with it. It's not good. Um, I really don't like how this looks like right now. I mean, I guess I'm just going to... Just gonna do this. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's much. I need to maybe double block the 4 4 with the 2 2 and 3 3, and then I can exile one of the sprites, maybe. No, let's just play this as a 1 1. I think that's fine. No, no, nothing. So. And all my creatures are artifact creatures. They have 4 power unblockable. They might even, with something like a double giant growth, win the game because there's nothing I can do about the sprites. Maybe I should have. Well, I was supposed to maybe use the remorse already on one of the sprites instead of playing the wall blow here. Yeah. Well, let's do this now. Maybe they have a gas. What's the gas um, thing that makes it indestructible? It gives it tremble as well. Would I lose? Oh, no, I wouldn't have. I would have taken four. But I would have been at one, I think. Okay, now they unearth that and make another. Now, can I win with the sibling rivalry? I don't think I can. That's not enough. 
but yeah, I can deal ten. Oh, there. Yeah, that's. I mean, if I had, if I could have been able to attack on the previous turn, that might have been enough. Well, sadly, I don't really. Hey, I have a blogger for one of these guys. That is, <laughs> that is fantastic. So I'm going to make this into a three-three and play the. No, I'd really want to. Ah oh, man, maybe I have to sack the Rager because the remorse would be. I need to leave mana up for the for the remorse right now. That's just what's gonna have to happen. If I steal, I can attack for ten. That's not enough. But I, I need to <laughs> apply damage, which I just I'm 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 unable to do that. Oh, I have um. I had a <laughs> timeout. I mean, this is so hard. This is so impossibly hard now. Can't do the steal and sack. No, there's no attack here, so let's just um probably this. No, I don't have mana to do all. No, I don't have mana. I need to leave mana up for this thing. So I mean it's so sad that I can't use this altar here, but I have to do this now. Ah it's so annoying that I have this altar and good you know uses for it, but I just I needed one more mana for that turn. That's what I needed. Now this opponent's deck is just... <laughs> I mean, the, the, start, the fact they have these sprites specifically, I mean my 3-3s three are a joke, because they are artifact creatures. The double sprite is really amazing here. So they have mana to activate one of the sprites, but that will mean tapping out for it. So I can block one sprite if they try to, you know, give it counters, then I will simply I respond by overwhelmingly remorsing them. Oh, they have a clay champion in their deck too. Well, you know what? <laughs> that doesn't have trample because I really... Maybe if they attack with everything, can I win with the... If they attack with everything, I think I have a win here. Yeah, I do. Actually, that could have been... Yes. Unless I have a loss. Because I can steal that and win. Okay, so... I need to jump block. Okay, so wait a minute. I can just block it. I like this. Uh, so I take an 8-8 eight, eight and attack for... Yeah, it's actually exactly enough because I can take the 4-4 four, four here. Well, I don't have to take it, but... Anyway, pass the blockers. T block here because that's not an artifact creature. And then I will just exile the 4-4. Four, four. And then I will win if they don't have anything else. Finally got my mana too. So the fact they had the clay champion was the reason I was able to win there, but it there's still one game in the match and uh, that's one other amazing quality card in their deck. If I'm if I'm winning this match, then I have to get get to the second draft because it feels like I'm already deserve it. But now they know to play around the sibling rivalry here. If they knew I had it, uh, they would have left another blocker. That was all they needed. I mean, this is just um. They even play green white, so they can get the good modes however they choose to do it. Ah, it's such an amazing card. Wow. I think I need to kick this KRS. Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, they don't have really a lot of X1, so the gruesome realization won't be a thing here. I need to cut something. Or maybe the Sword of the Meek is like a little bit too cute. It does make it make battling with their creatures a little bit more doable, though. Yeah, Clay Revenant. It is very good with the altar, of course. Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> oh man, what to cut? I don't want to cut too many of my two drops, but maybe that's it. Sort of to me, I don't really know. Maybe one of the butchers can be now cut. I'm on the draw. Um, stone retrieval unit is maybe also a little bit low impact. Okay, I'm going to cut that instead. Fine, this is the deck. 
and uh, basically, I mean, opponent must not curve out. The, um, but their deck is so good that unless they get very unlucky, uh, they will just apply the same pressure as in the previous games. At least I have a keeper now at seven. So did they, but I mean, the, the deck is just uh, seems very consistent. I have a good start here, though. I do. Um, there's no way to sack the sort of the mic because I could bring it back for free by prototyping this thing. There's an honor guard. Um, so let's start the race. I come. I have a blocker on that thing, so I can just do this, and maybe I can start, you know, doing some damage. Actually, with the sort of the mic, this is gonna be a four-three. Well, it's still gonna trade with all the three power creatures. That can't block, so they have a free attack. Yeah. So now I'm assuming they have one of the three twos that gives them a power stone token, then they get the Jade of the a Mask of the Jade Crafter, is that the card's name? Well, let's see. They are like do they wanna do something to the Transmogrant? They don't have the exile spell yet, it's a four mana spell. There's not much point using a decent chant on this thing. Unless it is the only player available, but we'll see. I, I doubt it. They are gonna have a creature here, because that's what their deck does. If they attack the honor guard into the butcher, butcher, sorry, uh, and they, that means of course they have a trick. Do I want them to spend a trick there? Well, I don't have to think that far. Okay, just a two-two. Okay, well, probably a one-one if they want to pick a land here, and then they can they can block the three-one here. But um, is that a problem to me? I mean, of course, on turn four, I can, you know, make it into a thing that won't get jump blocked, but I suppose it's really not, not a big deal. I can get it back at six mana. So let's just do that there, and then let's do this thing, and let's see if they have an attack. Because, I mean, it would be a pretty brave bluff attack, so I assume they actually have a trick here if they, if they attack into the butcher now. They have a prison sentence, which I can... I have a couple of ways to sacrifice my, my creatures. For example, the power stone fracture, or what's it, what it is. Uh, I can have a blocker for that thing. I can actually just double spell. Okay, that that enders tapped. So, but this will be a good blocker on that guy. How to do this turn? I think I wanna have this as a five-four. I'm very close to it. So I should play the infiltrator and uh, clay revenant. I'm not sure if I should. Play the Revenant there. I could have played the Sword of the Meek too. I mean, am I supposed to block the infilt with the Infiltrator? I have no way to sacrifice anything. This is gonna be a, just a 2 1 for now, so I think I will. Just stem the bleeding a bit here. Yeah. I mean, I will do that, sure. It's, it's kind of a waste when I have the 1 2 here, but. We'll see. Gwena, yeah, that thing it would be nice to get rid of. Ah, uh, there's the mask. That at least cannot be used to to that mask. It's only usable on creature spell and activated abilities of creatures or creature cards. Alright, so um this is pretty easy turn now. I could bluff attack, but it's not worth one mana. Just do this thing and the sort of thing. It's good to have the genius here because that gives me the sixth mana source for the for the 5-4 uh, thing there, but they're gonna have a 6-6 six, six token now. I have a Death Toucher, so I guess it's fine, but problem is they're gonna get another <laughs> big token later in the game. But I have the Transmog Grant, it will be a 4-2 when I return it from the graveyard. This sadly cannot be... Activated abilities cannot be used, so that's not usable now. Again, they are at 20 here, so this is... The, the deck is just... So good. <laughs> what is the blue for? Some crazy bum, of course, but uh, hopefully they don't draw it. Okay, there's the 6-6. Six, six. There is the 6-6. Six, six. Is it even worth playing the Warblow as a 6-drop? Well, it depends on what other useful mana I have. Drax a Demon is good. Okay, now that can be used to sack the Butcher. So I do have 6 mana up. Um, I could play this this and, and equip the Sword of the Meek. Oh, I could actually, I mean, 
if I had all the time in the world, I could play the Thraxo Demon, sack the Sword of the Meek for value to draw a card, and then get it back by prototyping this thing. It's just not happening now. Although I can actually sack it for, um, you know, <laughs> for this thing too, but that's really making not much sense, is it? I guess I could push for a little bit of damage. Because this will be a three. No, this is other creatures. No, no, I can't. Yeah, this would be just blocked by the 6-6. Six, six. Oh, no. It doesn't get menace itself. All right. Uh, man, this is so tough. Do I want to... Just play it as a 5-4? What does it... I don't think it matters. I mean, they, they have, of course, the re removal will be easier now. But... Um, Let's put this thing like on the clay revenant. Oh, it's easier to remove this one one than a five four, but this allowed me to do so much more with my mana. So, so far so good. But they have, for example, the you know the the mythic rare that I used, I stole and won with. They have now four. They have a total of eight mana thanks to this thing. They can use it for all kinds of stuff with that card. Well, the opponent definitely has drafted the deck that is worthy of winning all the, all the matches. But... Um, I really would want to win some matches too. <laughs> There's the sprite. I have some blockers for it at least. Okay, another war blow. That's good, that's good. So... Uh, um. Mm -mm. They have one card in their hand. So I can return this thing. I can play this as a... Uh, this is going to be a 5-4 now. I think... Did I actually equip the wrong guy? Because I could actually now... Well, I guess I can attack with the Clay Revenant regardless. Because I have the Genius activation up here. They won't be blocking, because this won't be blocking anything either, really. They are not going to attack with the Venna. So this is a free attack, I believe. Don't really think. With another Bob blow, by the way, I can actually... Yeah, I can draw a card from the Sword of the Meek. That's right. Well, let's see what happens now. If they block with the Quena. Well, they might have something up. They don't do anything, though. So I could draw a card and then play this as a 2-2. I can also bring the guy, this guy back, so I think I should do that instead. Uh, they might have a big token coming up, but at least they will have to tap out for it. Okay. So far I can just pass the turn thanks to the Transmogrant. Oh, they... I kind of forgot that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, this thing... Yeah, the, the thing... They had 5 plus 2 mana, of course, and they have the sprite as a big creature now, which I can't block with my death touchers, which is very sad. So I have to race. I have to try to race them. Although if they do get this token, it will be... If they have a land drop, it's gonna be a 5. five. Okay, that's what the blue is for. Oh, uh, yeah, this, this is crazy, because they can actually, with the Quena, use the ability... Return any number of target artifact cards with mana value 10 or less. Well, I guess that's not too crazy. But the creatures have Surveil and Vigilant. Yeah, this is... This is bad. Now, I have a double block on the sprite up now. They haven't... They currently don't have the... They don't have the, you know, the... Uh, pump ability up there, but... This is gonna be nasty. They can Surveil by just tapping. That is really strong. There's an emergency weld, which is, you know, strong as well. Uh, can't attack with anything but the transmogrant here. The 4-4 means that... Yeah, okay. Go to attacks. I, of course, do have this wide board of many creatures that I'm threatening with, but it's not relevant un unless they get to a lower life total here. And I don't think there's much time left for me. So I can sacrifice a 
creature. Uh, I mean, I can sacrifice the sword of the meek and play this as a two drop. If I draw a land, I can also use the emergency weld. I can just sack the butcher of as well. Let's do it like this now. Uh, I think I should use two of that and that. Well, but at the, of course I can play just the weld. It will be equipped by the. Although maybe I want the death toucher. Let's see what I draw first. If it's a land, I can do both. Oh, that is good. Uh, that is. Yeah. What to exactly do with that thing is another question. Maybe nothing in this turn. I can sack the butcher. That's easy. Yeah, I think I'd just rather have the weld. Bringing back the war blow or something. Or maybe just play this as a death toucher. Okay, let's let's do it like that. That it's really tough. I, I feel like the death touch is quite valuable here, so let's do that. That will be attached to that thing, and then oh boy, Sir Whale. So uh, they don't have any scary artifacts yet, and this has to be, of course, in the graveyard for this ability to to do anything but um they have the mana to use it thanks to this that's why this thing says uh, a creature or a creature card because uh, the you know creatures are creatures only on the battlefield on the hand and graveyard they are creature cards so that's why that's mentioned on this specific thing here they surveilled so they surveilled one land away and then they are thinking hard so it's not an easy keep but it's yeah so it's it's not an insta slam pick <laughs> I'd want to draw that. It's something they are having, having to figure out if they want to keep or not. Hmm. So currently this one, two, three, four, five, but I can. This doesn't give menace to itself. So they kept that card, okay? This can't give menace to itself. But my, I have four attackers with menace. So that means, for example, if they have three blockers, that is only. That is only um. Uh, you know one block but it's really sad that they have the vigilance here i think i need to use the power stone fracture on the tokasia tokasia there's not it's only artifacts right any number of target artifacts so it's currently the only one one jade crafter which they can bring into the battlefield and they choose to use that that mode instead which you know makes sense and then they have a free attack with the sprite because i no longer have a, <laughs> a double block up here but i guess i'll take the four here yeah, this this has to go away. They have no grave, uh, artifacts in the graveyard, so I'm not worried about this being in the graveyard. It's also very expensive ability to use, but I need to get rid of the vigilance. I don't want to jump block with the genius here because it's the way that I can push through here. All right, okay, that's actually very good. Okay, this starts to maybe look <laughs> good here now, um, but let's not get too excited. Um, I can move around the... I can make this into a 5 power creature, so this cannot block it. Because I think I have to kill the sprite and the tokasia thing. I'm going to... If I move... I have only 6 mana, so there's a, that's a little bit of a shortage of mana. I can't do any amazing shenanigans this turn. So move. Yeah, I think it's gonna be equip. It's two mana. Use one fracture. Sacking the butcher here. And then play the emergency world. Although I can sacrifice the sword of the meek actually and play the emergency world. Uh, so yeah, let's make it. If I want to equip here, I'm gonna equip here. Sure, let's do that. Let's do that and then attack with it and the Death Toucher, I think. Man, this is so tough. Um, I have to... I can jump block with the Clay Revenant, although it, it loses Vigilance. I'm gonna push for damage. I don't care if they trade with the wall blow. That is totally fine. So let's make this attack and see what happens. They might just take 6, which would be good because I have the... As long as my genius is alive, it's great. Okay, they block with the transmogrant, which is fine. Then 
I am going to make them. Uh, so I can I can sack the meek and then play. Yeah, you, that is it is fine. So kill this thing. Do this thing. Play the weld because I have a wall blow there. Okay, so I'm, at least I get to do the sort of the meek stuff with <laughs> with my deck. So that is at least fun. They surveil with it. They should surveil with everything. I guess I should have done this pre-com, but they lose the surveils. I, I didn't want to give them the information that they're about to lose the Tokasi. I wanted them to commit to the blocks without knowing which of these creatures they're gonna have left. But I guess I should have maybe considered. Okay, they had the other mask here now. Okay, they didn't want to surveil with any of the other guys. Why would that be? I mean, that was... Huh, interesting. Anyway, um, do I want to kill now the Argothian sprite here? Because it is the bigger threat here now. Or just um, have my emergency weld. I guess I can take here some damage. I can even jump block it if I really want to with the tracks demon. So let's take the emergency weld. Let's take the warp blow back, I guess. And then I will get the 1-1, one, one, which will get the... That thing. So a nice little bit of synergy going on here. I'm still very scared about <laughs> how this goes now. At least they lost the Vigilance. That is important. Now if they attack, they won't have blockers left. And, and, and many on your team, it is very strong. So they have to respect the junkie other genius. I really hope they don't find a removal spell. Of course, green white is not the most removal heavy combination but um it still is possible to have like fight spells how much time i have 10 minutes they have 14 minutes so time won't be an issue here but um what a match what a match one two so i could have four many creatures and each of them will be dealing at least i can't really block that now. I have to get rid of it with the Fracture though. That, that's, there's no way. Okay, Opportunist. That's a good way for them to give value for the Mask. But I guess it's only a one big creature. There's a that thing too. So, well, and there is that thing. Sadly, I don't have the mana to... I need one more mana, damn it. Uh, because I have the Fracture here, which I can use. I mean, I need a mana. That is sad. I might have to... I mean, this this thing has to go, but I would really want it to go only... Well, let's first see. They have th three blockers. That means one block on, on a many guy. But now I can't, I can't push for 13 damage. That is not what I can do here. Oh, man, the Goliath. Mm, if, I, if I steal, I don't have mana to use any sack abilities. So what I'm doing here is just, uh, I mean, uh, I have to jump block the sprite. That is a problem. That is a big problem, actually. That is such a big problem. Uh, I want to draw a card with this thing, but then I, I can't. Man, this sprite is annoying. It really is. It really is annoying. I mean, I kind of want to just kill it, but then the sibling... <sighs> It's such a valuable play to steal and then use it to kill something else. It's such an amazing play. Um, I am going to have to jump with the Traxa Demon now and I'm going to use my 6 mana. How exactly? I can draw a card from this thing later on. I mean, I can just... I can sack... I can use the 3 mana there. Yeah, okay, fine. I'm going to... I'm gonna play this as a 1-1, one, one. That's, that's what I'm gonna do, and then I have 4 mana left, which I can use to draw a card with the Traxa Demon. And there's no attack for me, sadly. I would, I could attack with the 1-1 one, one Death Toucher, but I'm not sure if that even matters now. Sacrifice another creature or artifact. So I think it's time to sack now the Butcher. Because if I have 6 mana, I can do this combination. I can't use the power stone for that. So... Yeah, 
Yeah, I have two draws to draw a land. One from the Thraxo Demon, sacking the Butcher, and one from my draw step. This is so close, but... Such a harsh one. This match has taken an, an eternity, and this is the first out of the four. Okay, let's see what they drew. I mean, if they drew something something crazy, it's gonna be nasty, but... Yeah, the, the fact they can keep attacking with the 4-4, it's really annoying. That thing has... the Rust Goliath has Trample, so... I'm gonna take some Trample damage there. I'm, I'm not gonna... I, I don't have the luxury to, to actually play around tricks of any kind. So, um, let's just um, go here and then... Go here. Take two damage from it. Sa trade with the Goliath. Sack a Butcher. That's all I have mana for. I don't have any other mana. There is the land. Okay. Hopefully no tricks. No tricks. I'm at four though. Maybe they just have a big, you know, token from the... the, the, the yeah, they, they do drew a land. So they're gonna make a big token, which I can steal and then... Yeah, I don't have a lethal attack if I steal the unblocked, un untapped guys. Because I can steal, steal an untapped guy and then kill the other one. But this is not enough damage for that. Even... And I don't have mana for junkyard genius for that in that case. I will get another power stone from this thing. That will be powerful. But I can steal the big token. And then they have to Oh, they actually choose that. Oh, because yeah, hey. Is that actually gonna um, That is interesting, so I'm gonna be getting a 10 10 trample now. So, do I win now? They, they lost to the sibling rivalry the previous game. Are they gonna risk the, the same thing? So, I take this. And I actually have mana to give my guys menace, don't I? Yes, because I can use the power stone for that activation. So, if this is a victory, I should just do it. So... 11 power trample and menace. Well, they can like block 3 out of that. And then, I mean, this has to be enough. Thanks to the Rust Goliath. It just has to be enough. They can block only... Yeah, this will be 2. This will be 2. They can double block this guy. I can still attack with this, of course. So this is win winning. I mean, this has to be. I didn't do the math, but I'm not having that much time. I think this has to be lethal, right? I mean, it, it's gonna be with the Trampler. Death Touch Trample also. All, this is guaranteed one damage. Well, it's gonna be two. They're not gonna double block that. Yeah, it, uh, there's no block for them. They double block this and they take like 17. Yeah, there's no block. What a match. And I actually won with the sibling rivalry in both cases. They had a, like the big mythic rare and then they had the 10 10 tramble. I would have imagined they play around my sibling rivalry in this game. The 10 10 was huge risk. That was a huge risk there because of that steel thing. So in the end, I didn't need to use the power stone fracture there. It was such a. Ah, oh, tough match, right. But I won. Great. First is a victory. Okay, so it's really good that I, I start with a win, because now it seems like I only have to go like 2-1. Well, I mean, I actually have to go just 2-1 to get to the second draft. Okay, um, I have six mountains in the deck, but most of the cards are, are artifacts or black cards. So I think this is an easy keep, even though this might not happen on turn three. I am up against someone who mulligan to six. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I paused there for a bit. They, they did keep uh, six cards. They didn't go to five. And I'll play my 
All right, well, that's fantastic. Uh, two and... Uh, I don't know if we... Because I... I which one I'm, I'm willing to trade? Well, I don't have to trade anything. Oh, th that's good. This is already a 3-2. Because of the sacking of the research desk, so... They have no place there. This is actually fantastic now. So I can next turn play the infiltrator, play this thing, sack it, make this into a 3-2. Black red from the opponent as well. They have a flesh quarter. Well, I have a bunch of removal in the deck. Um. So I can threaten them to... Yeah, I can attack... I, I don't want to really block it, because it's too risky when they have, uh, I, when they have untapped. But I can have a 3-2, and this has many of course, but... Um, yeah, I can't have to do this. So what I can do is... I can play the infiltrator now because if I if I sack the power stone, I wanna trigger the infiltrator. So now they are probably not going to block, and the genius doesn't give many to itself. So let's do with this, and I'm, let's hope they block. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. They actually block. What? They have a way to bring that back. That has to be. I mean, this is such a great thing for me. Wow. That was unexpected, but they, they have a, like a, you know, the emergency weld or something. All right, well, that's a... Well, that's interesting. With double infiltrator, this actually starts getting quite nice here now. So, can't attack into that yet, but let's do the desk thing. Do I wanna... There's no... Oh, it's this, this fine. Now let's immediately sack it and see. I can, of course, play the card on the next turn, so... Yep, that gets some triggers, and then uh, it's gonna be a... Well, I don't have the second red, sadly, mm, unless I draw it. It is really risky. I'd rather just take the land than, than the spell that I might not, not be able to you know, cast. So, trading with that thing makes no sense, because I, I get another sacrifice out of this unearthed research disk, and then this will be a 5-4. But I'm, of course, playing against black red, so I'm not really... <laughs> I don't expect these guys to survive, but at least they are just, you know, my random two drops. Okay, no one left behind. Now that is, that is the reason they did the block. That I, oh, ah, oh, jeez. Well, okay, they wouldn't have done this on this turn if I if there was an unleashed shell to be played. But of course, this would have exactly been able to deal with that thing. Oh well, this is horrible now. <laughs> so let's just get the power stone fracture right. Triggers. Thank you. That was that was sweet. And then I'm going to sacrifice a. I need to sack something, of course. I can't, I don't have to do it this turn, but I'm not really taking the damage here, right? I think the genius is the worst of my cards now. So, pay seven life, casually. Take action. They take actually 11 here themselves, so not so bad. But I would rather be at 20. <laughs> but hey, for all things considered, that was a good turn because I was just facing up a 75 minutes lifelink creature, which is no longer there unless they have another way to bring it back. Okay, they go for a main phase hostile negotiations, so they take actually 3 life loss there. I might win here. They, they are gonna go to 7. They definitely can't attack with the infantry, I don't think. Uh, well, they might have a 2-drop, but... Um, the altar isn't doing that much. So I'm gonna give these, or I'm gonna give them the cards I don't know about. Of course, this pile is really good. They have the Death Toucher, they have the Fracture. If they have a land in hand, they can play one of those spells. Yeah, I'm gonna have to choose this. I mean, it's it's pre really scary to give them the pile that I don't see, but I mean, this is just such a nice pile. I can't beat these cards that easily with my hand, so I'm gonna hope they have something worse <laughs> in that other pile, which, you know, probably isn't the case, but uh, not not really much else to do. Okay, they do attack, so that, that's another fracture then. That's another fracture then. 
so they get to jump block that guy now and then they have still a lot of cards. Emergency well though is pretty darn good here. Um, am I gonna have mana too? So junkyard, is this a win? No, it is. Is it? Do I have mana? Because I can give this many, it gets, it gets a plus one plus one counter from the sacrifice and I get, but I don't have the mana, right? Man, it's so close because two mana to cast this and then I need still six other. Yeah, so actually with one additional mana that would work. That would work with one additional mana. So... Any other way to do things? I might have a weld. I'll just take this guy now anyway. Maybe I miscounted. I didn't miscount because the power stone will be tapped. So I'm gonna do this pre-combat now. Do I want to play the creature though? Nah. Let's do this pre-combat. So with one more mana I would have won, I I'm pretty sure. Because but I, but I, I yeah, I, I'm I'm sure I, I didn't have enough mana. I needed eight. And now if all they need is another removal spell, but I still can threaten to do stuff with the genius here. Yeah, there's none they show, but they have only three mana left. Is that gonna be... I mean two mana left? Is there a two drop? Yeah, okay. How many times do I have to beat that thing? Ah, I am not happy about the situation. But what can you do? The Thrawn Spider is okay. They can hard cast that thing. Yeah, they needed to do that because they need two blockers for for my next turn. And sadly, this thing has lifelink. Okay, well, I can still you know, draw stuff. So, I mean, removal, steal. I mean, I can actually pay the ward. <laughs> I can barely pay the ward. So, yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, all right. This would be lethal without a lifelink. They can block with that thing. Mm. Well, I can do this. Is there a one mana? If I just would <laughs> be able to kill kill this one mana. I mean, I don't even have to target this guy. Oh, but hey, wait a minute. Now let's not be foolish. I can sacrifice mid combat so that they don't gain life. Let's not be foolish at all. Is this a win or not? These are many creatures. This genius won't get. A menace and all that, but... But this should be lethal, I mean... Is this lethal? Because I can sack the thing that's gonna be... Uh, they won't get life here. They can't block enough of these guys. They can block only one, basically. That's all they can do. Thanks to the altar, because the mana adding ability from the altar, it can be used at any time. So as long as they don't have removal, basically, I win this game. Th third flesh culture, <laughs> uh, and it's still not enough for the opponent. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, thanks to the menace, they can't block more than one of my creatures. Now, I might as well. This requires black mana, so let's not be foolish. Let's let's pump these other guys just to, finish, just to be sure. I'm not sure if there's any, you know... Nah, let's not. I mean, that's it. There's no... So, let's add some mana. Thank you, I need to three colorless mana. And then... Whew, thanks, Alter. <laughs> the first ability can be used like that. Okay, Flesh Gorger. I have a lot of removal though, but then again they have a ways to bring it back. The Weld and the... No one left behind. Yeah, I didn't take any of the Graveyard Hate. I actually feel like I maybe should now. I'm gonna play the Kixis Carries for sure. And then, what else? Black, red... Mm -mm -mm. Uh, 
Now they have these three ones. Well, at least one. Unleash shell. Fracture. Powerplant worker. Well, it's a 5.04 that can be pumped once per turn to make it a 6 6. Okay, I don't know if there's anything you know, specific there other than maybe I just should main deck the Keres because I can assume most opponents will have, uh, you know, some cards I want to get rid of anyway. Alright, so what is the cut now? I, I don't think I want to, to put anything else in. These were good in this game, but it was a pretty good sequence of draws, so these are not gonna be 6 fives that often. Plus they have removal, so growing one of these is not maybe worth it in the end when they're gonna be able to get rid of it anyway. So that card I don't need here now is going to be... Clay Revenant. I kinda like it, because it's so good with the altar. It's free, you know, food for the fractures too. Ah, but I need to cut something. Maybe it is just one of the two drops. Even though the infiltrators were good, maybe that's just not gonna happen all the time. I cut one of them, and this is it. Okay, I can keep they kept, but this is a very nice hand, actually. There's a Fracture even. Fracture Demon. Okay, Infiltrator can trade with that. Not sure if I'm gonna weld that thing back, but let's see if I have... I mean, it might be my only play available here, and that means I... And I have enough lands to make this into a 5-4. So let's test some... And this actually will be a turn 5 play, thanks to the... A retrieval unit I will be able to play on the next turn. Let's let's take back the thing. It's it's my only play now. And I, I can make it at least into a 3-2 thanks to the fracture here. And of course I have multiple other ways to sack stuff. They didn't play a 3-drop but maybe they have something now. Gigamole, alright. And um, they have a clay remnant as well. They chose to take that back and leave that as a 2-3. Oh, that's, that's a rivalry. Interesting. Anyway, it doesn't really affect my turn. I think they might have... Maybe... The, I mean, it is 3 mana to bring it back, so... Maybe they consider it's not worth the counter. Because you don't have to return anything. You can always choose it, this to be a 3-4. So... Sibling rivalry is gonna steal something, which I'm gonna... Then... Um, I, I need uh, one more land for that, but then I can sack it and kill it. Yeah, basically, that's two. I can remove the two biggest threats with the, this combination. <coughs> okay, they are gonna race me, are they? Huh. Interesting. Um, I think I'm taking the four, or if they wanna use three mana on it, be my guest. I wanna see if I can be a little bit more aggressive here. There's a Rager, okay, so maybe they're thinking about double blocking the Warplo. Yeah, they are. So that, that wouldn't be so bad. That Ender's tapped. Okay, land is good. So what I can do now is just take the Gigamole. Attack with, you know, 9 power. I kind of would want to have the Infiltrator on the battlefield for it to pick the counter, but that is probably not worth it. Because this is a fine turn when I steal this Gigamole. Although stealing the Gigamole isn't the greatest, I'd rather maybe steal something that is a bigger threat. Problem is, I don't want to attack with my war blow here. Or maybe I will. I mean, it's not. I mean, I get rid of these guys. I play the Infiltrator and the Remnant. Hmm, not sure though. Not sure if I wanna do that. Maybe I will. Uh, this being a 3-2 would be useful, but I have a pretty weak turn otherwise. Man, this is tough. They're gonna have bigger targets to steal and get rid of though. I'm actually gonna 
not, not steal the giga -poly. If they want to double block, be my guest. I don't mind the double block. I assume they are. The scratcher already, already got stuff back and... Uh, This is not a great turn for me, but my next turn might be... I don't have to care about the power plant worker now yet. I get rid of two of the biggest things. I didn't just want to use this just to get rid of the two, three. Now I did lose the war blow as a result. Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, I'm sad now. And if I did... If they, if I did that play, I mean the Gigi's Keresk would have only gotten the Revenant. That was the, would have been the only card left in my deck. Jeez. Okay. Okay, they left the rivalry in my hand, and um, I might find some other way to sack stuff. For example, that. But it is an attack trigger, so. Yeah, this would have been a little bit <laughs> different if they. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's kind of whatever. Sure, that's fine. If they have a removal for this thing too, it's gonna be annoying. I've ta I've taken already two attacks from this guy. But don't really think I wanna. Is it time to? Okay, I can return this to my hand. Yeah, sure, let's let's do it. I guess I could triple... No, they, they can make it into a 6-6, six, six, so let's not do that. If they have an instant... Oh, they have a Geekster. Well, I mean... They kill the Acrobat now, and then I'm... Gonna need to find another way. To, okay, that's that's good stuff they have there, but let's see what I draw. I'm not happy about my chance. Oh, the altar, the altar. No oh, man. The altar is pretty good, um, but I have to. I mean, this is really. A, they can even activate this ability. I kind of need to get rid of it, but with the altar it would be so much better. I have the altar clear and combination, so maybe I should just um, just um, realize now that uh, it's time to just make sure I don't die. Because if I play the altar and the revenant this turn, they are gonna do stuff with the kicks. They can get the yeah, it is gonna have to happen now. If this will be a 3-2, so it's not gonna... They can double block it. I don't want that to happen. So... This enters... Tap... Maybe I want it to be... Oh, I'm gonna sack it to the altar on the next turn, most likely anyway. So let's play the altar now and hope... I can jump block the power plant worker here. Yeah, I got my revenant altar combination here. That is really nice. But let's see if that's gonna be enough. They have the death toucher. Gixian infiltrator will get counters here. Another war blow, huh? Well... They play nothing, which is kinda annoying. I can play this as a death toucher and still have mana to return the revenant here, which is good. Any reason to attack? I mean, I guess they don't have anything for the infiltrator right now, but... I'm not sure if I want to start sacking the power stones for this thing yet. I might need the mana. Because I'm, I'm, I, this is a very mana-hungry combination of plays I have here. Uh, 
I mean, they don't have. They didn't. Um, they might have the, you know, the. Yeah, the card draw spell. Yeah, the, the four mana instant. So I assume they have nothing. Um, I'm going to attack with. Uh, I might want to have the lands available, but this will be a three in the air. Okay, okay. Let's have let's check one of the power stone tokens. It will also grow the uh, infiltrator here. So they have an unleash shell. Look at that. That also works. You know, they can do that. And then they take three in the air, and I have my death butter in here, and I can still return to Revenant. But on on inter on st end step, they might have there are there are you know discards. I don't want them to have it. another Geeks cares to get rid of this thing. So they are gonna unearth that guy, which I can block. So I have a good block here. I can block the four four with my death butter and the three three blocks the two two haster here. No big deal. They don't even want to attack with that thing, understandably. With the big one, I mean. So, I have my very nice combination going on here. Let's see if that is gonna give me the victory then. Land is fine. This has a reach, but of course. It doesn't block AR. Doesn't block AR 3 2 that well. Um, I think I'm going to keep attacking in the air with the land draw. I think I can just sack the other power stone and of course I can start sucking the clay revenant at some point too but maybe not now at some point I will have enough three trees to start attacking in the ground they have found a way to make the power plant worker attack relevant so maybe that's the plus two plus oh first track and trample I can survive that it will be five damage to me okay that was nothing Maybe they have a reanimating spell. They play the war blow now, that's fine. And an infantry. Now they are top decking. Unleash shell. Well that's really good. Um not good enough to win though. But I can I mean I can attack with my three threes now that uh, I can kill the war blow. That leaves me only two mana, which is enough to sack the Revenant for the Altar, but it's not enough to... There's no good... I really want to deal the tree in the air, but that doesn't... Maybe it isn't that necessary right now. Okay, let's kill the Warplo. I'm, I'm not sure if this is the smart thing to do, but um, I am going to do this anyway. Kill the tower worker or the one one and the one two, which they have to bring back. But I guess the reach guy is the good idea to kill when I have the acrobat in there. They get their token. I get my three three here. Yeah, I mean, the power stones would have been useful in all this, but I kind of felt like I wanted to push the damage. Now all I need is them to not have the <laughs> life-linking mythic rare. That's, uh, that's a good one. But I still have, a, I mean, I have the winning combination here as long as they don't draw their life-linking mythic or as long as they... That's a good one too. Or as long as they 
don't you know get to deal with my combination here. Okay, so I will need six mana total to do that stuff with this thing, so I don't have mana for the sort of the meek in any way, so they might be jump logging anyway, so Oh yeah, this is really sweet. This is really sweet. This is why the Revenant is in the deck. It's a 1-2, so it doesn't work with the Sword of the Weak, but it really doesn't have to. These are all, all very good stuff. This Ender is tapped, so they can bring it back, but it won't be able to block on the next turn. They, they need now something very good. I'm also not sure if the lifelinking thing is gonna be enough. Well, that's definitely not good. They're gonna go to 1, because I can all do the same. Altar attack. Whatever they're gonna block with the life linker, I can sacrifice with the altar. And the remaining guys will push through. So now I can keep them, you know, they have a painful wonder in there, interesting. So, I mean, this, these things don't do anything, right? They have five mana. Um, Don't really care about them having a painful wonder there. I mean, it, they, not that they can even cast it. Uh, I think it's better to keep the stuff. I know about now. I, I get to see what was the other pile having. Mats and a couple of lands. Okay, so not, not really that great either. They can draw into something else with that thing. I can block it. They discard it to Revenant. And they are facing three lethal attackers and they have only three mana. I guess four once they play the land, which I don't think they played yet. Or did they? This may be... Okay, doesn't matter. I won the game with the combination of uh, Transmogrant Altar and a Clay Remnant. The combination of cards was much better than those, those cards alone. Okay, so I'm at 2-0, which means if I get to win one of the next two ones, I am in draft 2. Mm -mm. Opponent Mulligan as well, I will do the same. Nice hand would be if I, you know, if any of these cards went away and was replaced by land, I would be happy with that. Well, I mean, this is worse than the previous one. I would rather keep the first one now than go to five, but I'm not gonna keep this. This hasn't, this, this really needs to find one of the, the swamps right away. Uh, I mean, two draw steps basically. Um, mm, mm, mm. I'll put it mulligan to six, so maybe I can go to five. No. <laughs> wow, so this is the first hand, but I have to now lose two of them. Oh, there is some Mistrust Research Desk, so th that's that's fine. Alright, so Unleash Shell and, um, well, all of this stuff is very good. Uh, I kind of feel like the stone retrieval unit is the least important, but it's also giving me, you know, mana to activate all this stuff. But I mean, the, the first three cards, I'm not gonna... It is gonna be the altar or the retrieval unit. In the long game, the altar will be the better card. So maybe I just have to assume I draw you know, enough lands that I don't really need this much. Okay, I'm gonna do it like this, but... Definitely, a lot of things need to go right now. So in top three, I need to have a land to, to hit a land drop. Shouldn't be too hard, but who knows. I have 15 lands left in the deck and they have a good start. All right, well, let's see. Will it be a hard mode or... um? Yes, it will. So I'm going to do this. If I draw a land, I can at least cast it. But that was, of course... 
If I'm gonna draw, gonna draw a land now, it's just a total non-game. Yep, that's a total non-game. I guess they are not hitting any plays, but this is just a... I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose the war blow. I'm gonna have a no play here and... I mean, let's let, let's see a few other turns. I mean, it's... Uh, I thought they had no plays. Well, they do. Well, now I'm gonna concede if I don't draw a land because I'm not really... Yeah, there's no coming back. So, first six cards, none of them was a land. After it offered me one land, one land, one land starting hands. So, well, this is best of three. I saw their deck. Uh, gruesome realization will have some use, usually against white. They might be mono white, or they did mulligan also to six. Maybe they didn't get their second color, but of course, they had no trouble curving out uh, against that deck. The Butcher is, you know, good against the Engineer, not good against the Elite the Flyer. Mm -mm -mm. So... Is there anything I should sideboard in Gix's Keres? I think I'm gonna keep the same deck for now and see if I get an actual game of magic. That's a fourth one lander in a row. This is again, if it draws any land, I have three spells I can cast. And if I draw, you know, two lands so that at least one of them is a swamp. I can also play the gruesome realization. But if my next draws the boat pure land, this just does nothing. So I, I mean, I have to go to six now. Wow. I actually got a keep. Uh, I have a double red spell in the deck and I have a few mountains and swamps. So by the time... Yeah, I guess I'm gonna actually... Because I'm gonna play these black spells anyway on turns 2 and 3 most likely. I don't necessarily need a double black and I'm more likely to draw a swamp than a mountain anyway. There are now 4 mountains and... Um, I guess 8 swamps. Okay, there is a swamp and then... Spectrum Sentinel, so they are soldiers and they are really aggressive when they are playing like a 1 mana, 1, 2. That ability won't be doing much. I have like one multicolored creature in the deck. Or multicolored sp colored spell, only one I think. Okay, um, that's a good combination with the Infiltrator. I'm going to see if I can attack for 2 here is I can. Alright, I'm gonna draw a card, so the fact that I'm all to 6 won't be that relevant. I mean, it doesn't hinder me that much. This draws me a card, card. this get, gets me two cards in the end. Infiltrator will get some... Well, Infiltrator gets exiled and I get three life, I guess. So this does seem like a mono-white deck. Okay, I think I'll just gonna go with the Rager here. They haven't done much yet, but of course that will change at some point. Alright, probably use this as a draw spell, but we'll see. Maybe they have the 4 mana, 3 1 and 1 1, then it's... Okay, multiple of those things, well... Fair enough then. Um, so, I have a couple of options. Well, I have multiple options here, but I'm just thinking if I... I want to use this now, or maybe just reset the desk after all. Um, let's do this. I don't have to cast it this turn, if it's something very strong. Um, actually, the Infiltrator isn't bad either. Because... I have this Traxxer Demon Clay and combination going. But... The spider is a spider, but I mean, maybe the spider isn't that... Actually, I'm gonna take the infiltrator here. Because I can also use my mana in a, you know, efficiently now. Do this and play the revenant. And then I can start, at least sack the revenant like once. And then this gets a counter. I can take the, you know, two from the engineer. Okay, they are blue-white soldiers. <clears throat> so I guess they have the soldier 
you know, the Lord. They also can have a might stone and witch stone. Do they draw cards? Yes, they do. That is a very good one. Power stone fracture is it bad? So infiltrator will trade with the power stone engineer. So I don't think I'm gonna. I'm not really sure if I should use this as a minus one minus one effect. I could dig it into more lands now. I probably have to. So let's do this. This will also give the infiltrator a, a counter land and a uh, acrobat. But I like the acrobat. It's definitely good with this board. I mean, it can eat the clay revenant every turn. But I also need lands to do the stuff. So let's do this. And sadly, they have exiled my stuff, so I can't use. Um, emergency weld on anything and there's no target good target for this thing so I'll just pass the turn for now there's no rush it's annoying they got the two lands from this thing but I guess it's a divination you, you don't lose to a divination Wing commando good there's an elite they have no attacks. I have a junk yard genius, which is good. Um, so, uh, do I want to get rid of the elite? Um, I mean, I can't really attack into it yet. I also might just, you know, draw the cards with this thing to hit my land drops. This will give me a power stone token that will be useful. But this might be the turn where I actually... I don't think the minus one minus one mode will be that relevant. I'm gonna draw the cards now just to, just to you know, hit my land drops. Thank you very much. And now I have the option to just, you know, play the genius. Still, yeah, I think it makes sense. Um, probably, yep. And let's hope they don't have a... Well, there's two... Spotterthopter is gonna... Well, that, that is the thing that's gonna die. Although I do have two removal spells. They get to scry for it. That is very good, of course. Let's see how many they keep on top now. Because that they will be good draws, for sure. Two top, two bottom. Well, that's pretty... Uh, expected split there. All right. So, well, that is one way to to do some very good stuff here. So, am I gonna do it right now when they are tapped out mostly? So, I, I can steal the spotter thopter. I can attack with. Bunch of my guys. Don't think it's time to use that genius yet and I'm thinking if I no I don't think I care about the wing commando that much it's just a 2-2 I'm at 19 thanks to them giving me a lot of life in, in this game um, I'm gonna do this now because this needs to go anyway and this is a good way so I don't think I have any good attacks in the ground no I don't so let's just uh, do this Attack for a four, and then I'm gonna kill the elite now. The infiltrator starts doing stuff. I still have a removal spell. If I ever get any creatures in my graveyard, I can use the emergency weld. Power blade. Okay, yeah, they can try to raise me, but it's. I'm not too concerned about a power blade. Junkyard Genius threatens a massive lethal attack, well, of course, well, maybe not now lethal, but it is always something to keep in mind. Okay, Air Marshal. Because they are at 12 only, and this can, the Junkyard Genius can really uh, cause a lot of damage in a single attack. 
and a really good card. Second pick in the draft after picking the blue red common. Oh, sorry, uncommon. All right, so I have now perfect information available here. They still have one card in, on top of their deck that they scryed there. So either, either the Marshal or the uh, Blade was so a card they chose to uh, keep there. Um, how to do things now here? Good. Um, the Infiltrator is actually able to attack if I exile the Engineer. Does that make sense though? I have 8 mana. If I sack this to draw a card, that's 3, then this costs 4. If I draw a land, I can also play the Transmogorant in that case. Huh. I think in the end it might just be better to do some many menace shenanigans. Because they have to double block and they have to lose 2 creatures. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'm doing that. And I'm gonna sack the Transmograt thing, I think. Or maybe... Oh, well, this deals some, some damage. So let's... Let's let's sack this thing. It can come back later on. And now I can attack with... This, this, and this. And they have to use two blockers per creature. And um, I can still, you know, sacrifice another... I can add more power to my guys now. So they're gonna block my infiltrator with two creatures, lose them both and take five damage. That's how, it, how it's gonna be. And there's no way I can make it survive because it will take the damage. I can make it five. I mean, if I had one more mana, I would of course use the remorse to, on the engineer, but uh, that's not happening now. So what I can do is just let this thing go. It's not a lethal attack or anything. And then I can emergency weld back the... Back the arm. Creature here. Can't cast it, so... That's that. Now this is still a card desk right on top, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully it's not in... I mean, it's, it's not gonna be too crazy good, because they would have drawn a very good card first, I believe. Still with the race, are we? I don't care about tricks now, because I do have the overwhelming remorse to counter a trick, if they have like a pump spell or something. Yep, they have one block against many creatures, but of course the card in hand can also be, you know, a bounce spell, for example, so I can't really um, be too confident about any lethal attacks on the next turn. But if they attack with one, then I can just sack a power stone and, you know, try to deal lethal. They have no blockers in that case. So let's hope they don't attack. They are really thinking about it. So, of course, the card they drew won't be a land. That was a scryed on top card. I wonder what they're gonna do here now. Nothing yet. Creature. Just move around to equipment. Okay, so... Um, I can... If I, if I do a menace attack... I don't have to do any menace attack. I can, of course, just... Um, offer a trade here. I have 8 mana. Not to the genius, of course. I can just attack. Because of course I have a lethal attack. I can give my guys plus one, plus O oh, and menace. That's two, two, three. That's exactly seven damage. So they are having something. Which means I'm not going to... I'm going to play this because if I end up sacrificing something, then this gets the counter. And now my plan is pretty simple. I just attack with, you know these guys and then i have the overwhelming remorse up if i attack with this it still doesn't threaten lethal so i don't think that makes any sense they have a, an ambush predator which, which they can activate so let's see what's their blocks before i do anything else That 
will be a trade and that will be a... They're gonna eat my guy. Okay, so... Is that even gonna matter? Now, is there a lethal attack coming? They move the equipment and they pump their guys. It's not lethal. I mean... I prefer just to get back the Transmogrant. I mean, that's what I prefer. So, and I can of course use the Overwhelming Remorse yeah, on their turn. I will, I will lose my token, that is fine. Remorse is cheaper now, but I still cannot... Yeah, I'd rather get a 4-2 back. I mean, now this is a top deck. You know, it could be a land and then I win. But we'll see. They are... They can threaten to deal a nice chunk of damage. So I'm giving them a two turn clock by, by not. But I guess if they attack, I mean, then, then my, <laughs> I will, I will. Okay, they play the land, but more probably because that's that gives them two pumps from the. Yeah, they have now ten mana. Ten mana for the paratrooper, so that's two pumps. It's of course not a lethal attack. Quite. I mean, it is actually quite close to lethal. That would be four plus five. Eleven. No, no, no. It's only nine. So. But now by playing the land, they give me full information, and of course now I just have a lead. So I think they weren't supposed to not play the land because now I can go for the 100% lead. Color. I have all the information available because I have a 4-2, and then I can give many to my guys, and of course they can block only one because of how good <laughs> a menace is. Yep. So I, after the one non-game, I get to. I get to win an actual game and then hopefully win also the third one. I don't need to show them any cards, even though my cards are sweet. But now they have actually no blocks, so... That's... Not gonna even attack with the genius because... Now they don't get any blocks and it's faster over this way. Alright. So blue white flyers as soldiers. I didn't see that much in the soldier theme though. There's the power blade. I didn't see the lord yet. I assume they have it. A couple of laid down arms so they have ways to deal with my stuff. It's not a mono white deck. For example in the end they had eight lands. Half of which were planes. So they might not be able to exile the golden war blow when it's a six mana creature that easily. Uh, now that I know about their deck more, they have flying, they have flyers, uh, multiple of them. Um, they, they have two ones, yeah, the gruesome realization, or what's it called? Yep, can get some of the one toughness creatures. This isn't now so good because it doesn't stop flyers, so I'm not going to do that. How about the geeks carers? I didn't actually see anything like, um, crazy stuff. I have a lot of removal for if, if they get to do this for expensive. I guess making them discarded might stone and weak stone is good. Uh, Transpider is very nice because it blocks also their flyers. Um, stone retrieval unit is now like, like, um, still okay. How about the sword of the meek? Do I need it in this matchup? I might not need it actually that much now. I could see maybe maybe playing something like that. Get the info. Yeah, they are playing blue and white, so they have a potential for instance. It's it's nice to see what's in their hand, and the power stone will still be useful. So I, I think I'm gonna not play the sort of the meek here. And other other than that, the deck might be just fine as is. Yeah, this is a good mix of different kind of cards. So let's hope to. Uh, maybe not mulligan, <laughs> for instance, and have a good curb. I will be on the draw. So I need to answer their plays uh, quickly, or otherwise they will fly over me. Okay, thank you, deck. Thank you, deck. I might not be able to cast this, and with, which would be annoying if they start with a couple of X1s, but I mean, I have a 2-drop and I have a 3-drop. I have a Discipline Rivalry with Transmogrant Altar. And of course I have nine swamps left in the deck to draw, to cast this thing. They are thinking about the mulligan. I will pause until... Well, no. They make a mulligan. I, I will keep this. Well, I have mulligan three times in this match. I guess they did mulligan to six in the first game too. Okay, that's really good. Three drop. Absolutely fantastic. 
they have a one target, well, no, sort of a target for this thing, and I drew my my thing. So if they have an X1 on the next turn, this is very likely play at some point, maybe not right away. I hope they just exile this thing, because I'm not planning on blocking it anyway. This is better, I get three life also. And they have no X1s yet, let's play this thing, and this thing, is it a counter spell? Nope. So I can play the altar and the rival will be quite good. I steal a creature from them and sack it as a, to be a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, no blocks. No plays from them. Uh, but they might have a flash play though. Uh, I am going to just attack and play the altar, I guess. I guess I could have played the altar pre-combat. Because they might have, you know, the... Uh, deal 3 damage to a tapped creature and they gain 2 life. In that case I would have been able to sack it so that they don't get the good 2 life. But, uh, but I mean it's over now. I mean um, it's not over but I mean it's too late <laughs> for that play but I should have thought about it a little bit. Because I'm gonna play this altar anyway on this turn. I, because I, I would like to draw also the cards especially if I draw like a, an, another land and they don't play a, a threat but if they play an X1 here which they still could do uh, the 2 for 1 will be quite nice. Okay, they didn't play an X1, so now it's time to just draw a card. Yeah, I'm gonna draw two cards because I seem to be a little bit flooded. Now what I can do, I can steal this commando and uh, sack it to be a 3-3 three, three because I can... Yeah, that's actually better. I don't want them to have the flyer in there. And then I still have one option to maybe use this as a minus one, minus one. Because I, this costs 4, but I can use the Power Stone to activate the second ability, so... And I get another Power Stone here, that's sweet. Combination play. Yeah, I believe the rivalry has been really good in this event. Without that, I, I wouldn't have won the games. Alright, well they are stuck at that amount of mana now, so... Yeah, I could try to kill it, but I mean, it's just gonna be draw two cards. I'm flooding here, and I don't really want to flood out so much, so... Alright, there's an emergency world which I can use to bring back a thing, so this is all fine. I can just uh, offer the trade here, and then probably weld into... Well, I don't have to weld right away. And play that stone retrieval. No, but the world is better because I wanna sack the one one to make it into a three three, definitely. So you can, by the way, have a vigilant zombies because you can always sacrifice uh, the zombie you attack with, given you have a two extra mana lying around. Defabricate. So they actually. Counter that uh, activated ability, so no 3-3 three, three for me. That's fine. I got the token, you know, as a... Uh, I got the token as a uh, free buy. Freebie anyway. It's freebie, right? Not free buy. Freebie. <laughs> Alright. This is fine because my 3-3 three, three out class is there. 2-3. And uh, I can upgrade this into a 3-3 three, three if it's my only, you know... Use okay, at least I got the demon there. So yeah, you can sack this to you know get a three three untapped token. If there's nothing else to sack with the altar, something to keep in mind if you have a, an altar in your deck. <coughs> so this is now total amount of um six seven nine mana because I can use the power stones for the retrieval unit. And nine mana is exactly enough to cast everything, isn't it? I believe so. This is great. And of course I threat a huge, huge, um, you know, many attack to finish finish them off. Now they mulligan to 6, they, they were stuck at a low land count. But then again my first game was just total non-game. Mulligan to 5, never draw a second land. Static net is good, but it's not gonna. I, I'm, I'm having too many threats here. That that does help them that they're not gonna lose right now. But um. Okay, so I think it's time to <laughs> draw a card. I mean, I need to draw a card now because I'd rather do something here. 
Now that's another emergency weld which has no targets. <laughs> well, it will have once I sack the retrieval unit thing here. Mm. Might as well attack with both still. I don't think they have with one. Uh, they could, there is a trick for one white mana, but I'm not sure if I care about it too much. I mean, I would lose this and then I can't do the thing I'm gonna do now, but whatever. So, sack this guy. Upgrade it into a 3 3 and then we can weld it back. And I can play it. They will be swamped by uh, these three trees because that's also one 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 I can upgrade. They are down to two cards. They need to have some kind of a bomb here, I think. I think they need a bomb now. Okay, that's not a bomb. Now it is very good against my three trees. But I can try to swarm them. And I am a bit flooded here, but I have me means to, you know, not care about it. Okay, I'm really flooded here. <laughs> um, so if I attack now with everything, they have good blocks, so let's not do that. Yeah, they eat a 3, three ideal 3, yeah, no, that's not good enough. I mean, at some point I'm gonna draw my no spells. <laughs> I have a 16 land deck, and uh, this is now... 9, 11, so I have 5 lands and 15 spells left. That's a lot of good draws. And that is a good draw when you are flooded. Let's start with that, for sure. They have a card in their hand, so it could be a counter spell. Both get power stones, okay. And then I get to use my ability here, which is available by the land. Uh, let's... I mean... I can only pick an artifact, so it doesn't really matter which mana I'm gonna tap here. I might not hit, oh, but I did hit. Well, that's a good set of... I mean, this is gonna just be better, but uh, but the other one was good too. So, I'm gonna do this. I guess I could draw a card as well. I mean, drawing a card might be better. I can make another 3-3, three, three, but as long as they have the elite, it doesn't matter really. You know what? I don't have to do it right now, actually. Cancel. I can draw a card on their turn. I could upgrade this into a 3-3, but that doesn't seem too relevant. So let's not play the research desk yet. I'll just draw a card end of turn. Get all the information that is in there available. There's still not a good attack. I really hope if they have a tap effect, they you I mean the counter spell which has the tap two creatures mode. Um, I'm not gonna attack into this board, but I actually, I mean, I could force... Yeah, they actually have it. This is really amazing. I mean, they actually had to waste that card. I mean, did I have a lethal attack? I could have attacked for a seven. Yeah, I guess I did. No. Yes, they blocked two. Yeah, I had a lethal attack. Didn't even do the math, but I didn't want to risk into a open, I mean, you know, a card in hand. I mean, I'm gonna win this now anyway. They played even a land. Okay, now... Now it is time to um, exile the 4-4 and attack with everything. They have no cards in their hand, do they? No. So this is a lethal attack now. I don't have to do anything else. Alright. Well, that was that was the third match win. And uh, that means I'm in draft 2. And it also means that uh, I have another... Because it was my third match, uh, I also have um, another match, which is uh, if I win it, I will get to have a one loss forgiven me in the in the um, draft two. So okay, some stuff. So now I have a single elimination draft two, and this will give me a double elimination draft two. Definitely worth it. But I'm super happy about the draft. It will be in a separate video. Uh, will I upload it? In, you know, it will be publishing in two days from now, from when this gets published. I mean, but um, hopefully it will be also a long video <laughs> because that is that's not four matches win or lose that is either single or double elimination so it's a bit more relaxing match now but um it is still very valuable to win so i hope i do but um i'll do my best okay a fine hand of course we'll need a land okay they can check out my 
up Picard. They know that I will have what in my hand. Hopefully a land. Thank you. Let's play. Okay, blue, black. Wonder how many one toughness creatures. I don't think black has that many. Well, that's one, but that will come back, of course, back. Um. Um. Yeah. Let's play this to block the courier, and I think I might. Yeah, I need to, you know, stem the bleeding a bit. So I'm probably. Well, let's see if they're gonna sack the courier. Of course, if they have two mana up, I won't be using the realization in that case. They won't. Do they have a land drop? Yes, they do. Oh, that's sweet. Well, now it's gonna be very easy. I mean, they still get to draw a card from them, but this is still, you know, more very decent realization. <laughs> it's gonna take six mana good to bring back them a rare hero, so that's that's now off the table. And drawing cards with these things is still oh, that needs to die. Oh, drawing cards with these things cost 3 mana, so they are gonna get a free assault now, because I won't be... I, mean, I kinda guess I could... Okay. Um, I have another Thraxa Demon. I will not want to even sack the Power Stone because of these mana hungry things. So it's actually going to be so that... Um, I'm not gonna give them the free token, I'm going to just... Uh, Kill this guy. Oh, actually, let's do it the smart way if I'm gonna <laughs> commit to this play. Let's attack for two. Not ideal, but I mean, this is a bomb rare. I'm happy to get rid of it. Hopefully, they don't have a means to bring it back. <coughs> okay, so now I can play the genius. They have a stern lesson. So, giving me a little bit of breathing room, but at the same time, refilling their stuff. They have now a very good graveyard here. And they can say that this thing won't be untapping ever. Alright, so... Um, let's please draw a land. I can actually make this into a 3-3 thanks to the altar, so it's fine. Stalker, I can... If I draw a mountain, I can, you know... Uh, trade with this, but I might actually just... Uh, in fact, uh, let's do this and play the Warblow as a 1-1 one, one Death Toucher. I don't see a way for them to get, get rid of it. Because I wanna, of course, block this thing and it will, you know, with the couriers they will be having, obviously. They will be having, um, you know, lifelink Death Touch here. Okay, they have very good stuff, they can do that and uh, benefit from my Power Stone, but... Let's see if they can kill the Warblow. If not, then it's fine. But I still have the Unleash Shell, but I don't have the second mountain for it yet. Okay, let's see what happens. This is blocking here, this is blocking here. Raids. They get life back. They will get one one token from this thing. Or not if I decide to... To... to Exile it. Not sure if I want to do that though. I might want to exile the transmogrant in fact. This will get bigger in size though. Um, mm, mm, mm. I really want to just make another three make another three three this turn. So let's just uh maybe I can offer a trade with the genius. The genius is so strong though, but maybe they won't block. I'm thinking that they might not they might choose to not block it. Hmm. I guess with the altar, I'm gonna actually do this. If they block it, then they block. I hope they don't get to draw. No, they, they can't draw two cards with with two mana available here. Yeah, that's what I, I assume they are not gonna block. And then I can do this thing, and I can sack the Thrax Demon, make it a three, make a three three out of it. Yeah, the altar is really you know proving itself. I don't think uh, in my first draft of the format, including the ones that are... Oh, that's a nice one to <laughs> get rid of. Um, uh, the, the ones that I have recorded uh, on my channel, I don't think I have respected the altar enough in them. 
but this is not the first time I'm playing it. I have used it in my unrecorded drafts and I have noticed it's really good. Alright, so now what is really good is to get rid of this annoying 7-7. Thank you very much. And then I am going to... Again, offer it a trade, right? I mean, that's not much. I don't have the mana to use the spider here. Unless I sack the genius for three mana and all that. Uh, I mean, they, that mechanic will be bigger, so I think I'm, I'm fine with this thing. This is fine. Yeah, I could use this if I sack a creature. Um, no. Now this is very dangerous, I, I, but I have two emergency wells still in the deck, so I might, you know, draw a thing. But now, now I can do um, the thing that I, I don't really. Oh no, well they might do a combat courier. Fine, let's do it. Let's give the vigilance to this thing. That means I don't have this up if I, you know, want to. Sacrifice at instant speed. Uh, it can be relevant if they have like a... Is there a steal a creature thing? I don't know. Okay, but now I have a blocker for the... That's the idea. That's why I played this thing. I will not take damage now. This can't block though, so they are going to a low life total here. To five exactly. Well, this is actually good now, definitely because of the... Yeah, I really wanted to draw that thing. Um, I should have maybe used this. Um, I might want to have the Unleash. Let's not use this. I mean, I could draw... No, this is only 8. There's no 1 mana artifact there. So let's not do anything yet. I use it when I have the full information available about their, about their turn. They don't even bother attacking. I guess it does affect how if they wanna leave the one mana flyer to block or not to see what they draw there. They wanted to do that. That's fine. So I have now a lethal. Lethal. But let's do this first. I didn't find anything. And then I can choose to try to get a lethal attack. Uh I mean, they're gonna jump block the 3-3 three, three, and then this won't present lethal damage. They have two cards though. I'm not too happy. I mean, I could go for the win, of course. But things can go wrong. And then I don't have mana to activate the spider. Which I kind of want to have access to. I think it is just safer to go like this. I mean... Doesn't seem like they have anything. They could have a counter spell. But it's not so bad if, if they have it. I Okay, let's go for the lethal. Yep, that was it. Because I didn't see any any priority stops there. So I th I thought they don't have anything. Because a single, you know, bounce spell into the 3 3 would have been, you know annoying surely and then uh, i could have just you know activated this again on uh, end uh, in the end step and leave this mana up for their turn if there's like a surprise you know damage to enough to make it lethal so there definitely was a, a you know a decent play to not do this play make them jump block go to three then then have the mana up but that was like a you know Sometimes the risky risk pays off. All right, so um, blue black, huh? Bunch of more, one toughness creatures. Oh, the officer is really dangerous. Mm, Gix is careless. Uh, if I'm going to, yeah, actually, my own Trasmogran doesn't seem that great because they have all these. Well, not these, but these, you know, one ones. So I'm feeling that maybe I don't have time to bring it back. I could see it just, you know, playing the Gixis Keres, for instance. 
instead of it. Or maybe the Sword of the Meek. Is this the kind of matchup where it doesn't really matter that much? It's a bit slow and clunky card to be fair. Uh, especially because I have I have stuff to do with this deck. Other synergy things. I don't necessarily need to fool around with these things. So maybe when I'm on the draw I won't have the equipment here. And then I'm deciding if I just want to have the carers here. It's a blue-black deck. It's nice to see what they have in hand. So um, I think this is it for now. I don't know if there's enough time to for the butcher to shine. I'm gonna do it like this for now. Um, I have 10 swamps in the deck. If I draw any land, I can play the spider and then I can, because of the power stone, I have mana to cast this. So that is enough reasons to keep it. Even if it's one of the four remaining mountains, instead of one of the 10 swamps, I can cast the spider here. Most of my spells are definitely not ready though, so if I draw spells, they won't be castable, but now I have this thing, so... Hopefully I'm gonna dig into lands, unlike in the one game where I just mulligan to five, keep one land, have this thing, and still don't find a land. Okay, let's just dig into a land then. This is, by the way, I can bring back artifacts also, which also means I can bring the research deck back if I want. Swamp, please. No swamp. Okay, well that is really bad. Huh. Wow. Um... I can cast this if, if I draw specifically a swamp. I can cast this if I draw any land. It's also the worst card, but I don't really... It might be I'm not gonna cast either of these, but I mean... That's unlucky. <laughs> that was unlucky. I have seen now four cards, none of which were lands. Okay, and it is even the swamp. So I they will be getting stuff for this thing. I don't have a removal spell though. I mean the altar is slow, but it's also a way to hmm. I mean I'm gonna do this, but I don't like it. I don't like that they get this, you know, they're gonna get this yeah uh, crone. Um, I need to find my exile effect specifically because they will also bring me something back. What they did? Okay, just a land to go and went away. Alright. Um, mm -mm -mm, spider. I guess I can use this uh, if I sacrifice my creature for mana. Because I will have exactly 5 mana. With this, if I, this changes into a 3 colorless mana, so I can cast the unleash shell. But. I would need to have some food for that, and maybe the emergency world thing is. Yeah, this is fine. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take back the research desk here, and uh, I'm gonna play this just to get to kill this thing before it goes out of range. I mean, it's a death, death trigger. They don't currently have anything in their graveyard, so okay. Unleash shell is also gonna be it for this thing. <laughs> uh this is tough. I need more removal than I have access to. Uh, I guess I can like, you know, multiple block this guy. It is a thing. I'd rather kill the flyer though. That's really how it goes. I can make this into a 3-3. It costs two mana though, so I don't have any. Don't have any other play in addition to that. Plus the three three doesn't really help, does it? Okay, this is bad. I know I could sack this for mana, kill the I mean the anointer, I guess, and then I will have one mana, which I can use for the research desk. Um, or maybe I need to find, I mean, in the 4 or 5 is big. Uh, I 
it is big. I don't know. Oh, I can double or multiple block this guy. That's the thing. Ah, that is this is so bad. I guess I'll just play the retrieval unit and jump block the stalker. And um kill the anointer on my turn, hopefully by drawing a land here. Okay, they didn't even go for the courier yet. Okay, that's fine. Oh, they have also have less coach. Yeah. Oh man. That's kind of a slap in the face because I just got my other answer to to deal with this duo of cards and then they have the flesh coacher here now. Which makes things very bad because I would have to pay seven life to kill that. Uh, so I can play the acrobat. I can double block this guy. I still can't kill. Oh man, I have not enough mana and they have way too strong stuff so jump blocker not good I mean I need a three power creature to be able to I guess I can use two now to yeah so what I can do is I can play I'm gonna play this and uh... Well, that's enough to double block that guy, I guess. So maybe I, put, I won't be doing anything else now. No, no, no. It ends the turn. And then I will... I won't, I don't have enough life to... I mean, I will run out of life before I can do anything. Plus, you know, if they have interaction, of course, the double block is doomed. Yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, that's a lot of must answer threats. Okay, this is not... This game I won't be able to win, but I still have one game left. No attack. Oh, they have to attack with the Flesh Gorger. There's no way they are not attacking with it. Hmm, interesting. I could actually... No, if they sack the combat courier, I'm dead. I mean, they get death touch on that guy. So, let's just do this then and take 7 damage because I assume they're gonna make the Anointer into a 3 power guy now. They go to 27. No, they go to... 31 life here, so I'm never gonna raise them. <laughs> I need to totally stabilize and just uh, do that way, which is very unlikely for now. The remorse got cheaper, so there is that. Okay, they get a non creature spell with that thing if they mill such a thing. I th they didn't, but I see oh, there's an evangel. Yeah, that, that's a really good deck, of course. Alright, so let's see what I have here coming up. Don't think I can have enough time to I mean I have the answers for the guys I just don't have the time to use them I can't afford to take a land in here it has to be the power stone fracture I guess the turn three when I did play there and I drew land when I did play this it was maybe a little bit too greedy but then again I thought it was like the only way to win there or something so power stone fracture is a two mana answer to um is there anointer yeah, they're gonna bring back something. I need to exile the anointer, I guess. And then I kill the officer. Jump block this guy. Uh, let's see if I actually have the mana to do all that. I don't think I do, by the way. So... They have another draw for this thing. This will be a four in the air if I don't deal with that thing. So if I play a, let's say, trans. Or the genius maybe maybe I get to I need the power stone so if I do this thing then I can okay let's do this thing and then the power stone fracture will deal with the oh but I said I need to exile this thing oh, yeah, I can't do it all because they get back a thing uh, three power three mana or cheaper and they have a good options there um it's actually uh, I made a mistake but there was no way I can do both of these in this turn, I guess. Well, maybe there was. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna lose now. Um, if I exile this, I'm, I, I, I don't have mana to do all that. And I can't really fracture this thing. If I fracture this thing, they get the, this thing back. And, the, well, I mean, I don't even know what, they, what else they might have. But this thing, if they get that back, they will be able to make it into a menace creature. And I lose to the attack. So there was no... 
So I had to exile this thing. And then I'd lose the fracture. So I guess if I if I play only the remorse and the fracture this turn, um, which I could have done, uh, I still lose to what? Because I would have to exile this, kill the trend stalker with the fracture, and then they have a three power in here and one one uh, unearth creature in the graveyard. So that's four damage anyway. Now, with all that, do I have any reason to change anything? I don't think I do. I'll just um, just have the same deck here, and hopefully they don't get such a strong start. But their deck is uh, has a very high high um amount of a large amount of a very very strong cards. Okay, at least I get to have a good start here, and they mulligan. Okay. I would really want to have the extra allowed loss in the draft too. If it is single elimination and I lose like the first match, then it's it's gonna be over so shortly. If it, if it's double elimination, I at least get guaranteed two matches. So they mulled to six, and now they check out why what is gonna be my draw. Um, where's that? And then um, I can. I don't know, I really wish I'd draw some other play for the next. Oh, they, if they make this into a 1 4, I can't. They might not take the bounce spell. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, 1 1 Death Toucher. It's going to be a, a 5 4 at some point, so I don't. I don't like the fact that they had specifically a 1 4 or 2 when I have the Transmocrat start. That was a little bit too much. Because I have now. Not that great stuff going on. Okay, so if I play the spider now, I can play the 5-4 on the next turn. Let's do that. Yeah, man, I, I thought I was at least able to trade with the 2-drop of this, but no, there, there's just no attack with the Transmograt at all. That's really bad for me. Hmm. And they have this thing. Oh, come on. They get rid of the removal spell because they, I mean, they are, yeah, I need to draw another removal spell. No, 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 it's too late now when they had the cantrip. Now this will bring back the evangel, which is really annoying. Don't like it at all. Uh, well, um, let's hope they don't answer my 5 force that much. I know I can at some point just jump attack into the archaeologist and get it back as a 4-2, but... It's not happening yet. All right, fracture there. Sure, sure. I have a reach, guys, so they don't have a block. Okay, that. That's not really a problem either. That is good. Let's get another one of these down. Counter spell? No. They have something though. They have something. Stainless. Well, isn't that just perfect? This gets a counter. Man, this anointer is such an annoying card. I need to have my exile card. I have one card that exiles. I really need to draw that. This is just going off. The anointer is such a sick card when you get to have it so early in a deck like this. It's not that hard to you know draw two cards per turn. And this now brings back even four, up to four mana creatures. And they already have the evangel if nothing else. Which is a really good card, I guess. Well, maybe not in the very late game. It's not no, no more. Okay. Um, second anointer, I need a sack outlet for my rivalry. I mean, I guess one power stone fracture would be amazing. It would actually be sick because I could, well, no, I wouldn't be able to get a card back. So let's see, if they block, don't think I care about if they block in any specific way. They could take the anointer back. But they didn't. All right, so let's see about this. Power stone fracture, please. That's not it. All right, so um, I'm dead very quickly. They can uh, look at this. I mean, they they just they, they top deck a top tier mechanic, and they do. <laughs> oh yeah, this is such a. I mean, I need. <sighs> They don't have a flying blocker, so I guess I need to... <sighs> I mean, uh, it has to be a power stone fracture. There's no other way. 
I need to deal with both of these flyers and I get exactly nothing. I mean, this is too slow. I mean, the anoints are getting copied by the metamorph. Um, yeah, this, I mean, I can steal the 5-7 flyer, they, they go to 9, but I mean, they have... The, the reason they had the archaeologist on my transmog, imagine if I was able to attack like a couple of times, they would be at 8. Well, it wouldn't still be lethal, but I mean, at least would have given me a chance. But now uh, there's nothing, there's nothing. I can activate this and that's not doing anything. I died next turn, so. I know I had the jump block and all that, but it's just, um, that was the power of the anointer. And I even had the removal for it, but they had the discard spell for it. So uh, things really went their way in this game. And I didn't draw my sacrifice outlets, which I have uh, plenty of in the deck to, to get any good use out of the rivalry. So in the last match I was um, I won the game one there so I had to lose both second games to not get this double elimination possibility in the next draft but um, it is what it is. Uh, this is now the end of this video and uh, I will upload the draft to so that you will see it in a couple of days. Uh, so uh, Hopefully it's not like a 45 minute video. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.